Real Victoria is woken up by her cat hissing at something it sees in the bedroom window. The cat goes quiet when she starts recording, but it's definitely focused on some activity outside. She says this creepy looking character was looking in through her window, and he very well may have been, but at 4 seconds he also seems to be looking up and trying to get the attention of someone in the room above him. In fact, I think I hear him shout something and whistle loudly at the beginning of this video. What is he saying here? Eventually, he steps away and out of sight. I guess he either saw the camera, or he finally got the attention of someone in the unit above. Whatever he was up to, having a complete stranger anywhere near where you live at 5 in the morning is oddly terrifying. With that said, I do believe her, and I hope real Victoria stays safe until her lease is up and she can get out of there. Someone's always gotta ruin the party. Posted to TikTok by Suntu Kajasi. This group took a bunch of photos at a waterfall in Indonesia, but well, one pic turned out much creepier than the rest. As the group poses before this beautiful falls, a black robe figure is spotted, lurking in the background. You cannot see its face, but it seems to be watching them. What is this figure doing? And did it lose their life in these falls? I guess we're left with more questions than answers for this one. Are you heading out to a seaside restaurant tonight? You might want to reconsider. Published to YouTube by Ed Hat in March of 2014. They wrote, Jill Freeland, the artist and videographer, was having breakfast this morning at Moby Dick's with her family and got a little more sea salt than was on the menu. The footage shows the restaurant overlooking a stormy gray sea. While the customers await their meal, they helplessly watch as the waves take on a life of their own. They probably think they're safe inside, but boy are they wrong. The water crashes against the window and glass shatters as the spectators scream. Someone calmly says, time to go, and the customers are told to leave the restaurant, which they do without argument. It appears that no one was hurt in the incident, but they certainly saw firsthand how indifferent Mother Nature is to brunch. A YouTube channel called The Paranormal Detectives investigates the Morton Corbet Castle in England. A man named Paul Holmyard cursed this property after his ex exile sometime during the late 1500s. And centuries later, his curse still apparently stains these walls. The paranormal detective set up two haunted dolls of their own to act as spiritual condens for anything nearby. Not only does one of their dolls, Elizabeth, fall over, but this strange black line begins leaking from its neck onto the wall behind. Fully stretched out at 1 minute and 53 seconds, it almost looks like some kind of tentacle or even a parasite. Is this special effects, or could we be witnessing a spiritual entity caught on camera while leaving Elizabeth? A YouTuber named Darkened Auras buys a cursed doll on eBay and decides to record it for signs of the supernatural. Within the first 10 seconds, they notice it is behaving very strangely. Take your hand away from me. Her eyes are like black on this. Cute. Oh, she's moving. The doll begins to rock back and forth on its own, and I'm not sure if you heard this part or not, but she says that the doll's eyes are light blue in real life, but they appear as pitch black on camera. Watch how the doll spins around when one of them goes to grab her. Oh, I can feel it when she does that, too. See? What the f***? They continue to poke and prod the doll for well over an hour, and at one point they even record under the table to show that there are no magnets underneath, which was my guess. I encourage you to watch the full video and make note of what else you can see, as I'm sure that there are many other paranormal moments not shown here. A YouTuber named Charles M is checking out an old house for sale in Las Vegas that was supposedly owned by the Mafia. At one point during the tour, he comes across a fake wall in the kitchen and follows an old set of stairs down to a secret basement. The basement extends for a long time further and further underground. 
eventually opening up into a long white room that's completely bare, except for cabinets lining the far wall. Connected to this room are two other smaller rooms about the size of a closet. They each give him a bad feeling. The two smaller rooms are dark and soundproof. Strangest of all, the doors only have knobs on the outside. I don't know why the mob would have needed a soundproof room that nobody could escape from and I don't want to know. That's all he finds, hidden inside the ventilation shaft of one of the rooms, is what appears to be a single spent bullet casing. Is Laney and Ben's poltergeist getting stronger? Watch this video and judge for yourself. As usual, the poltergeist seems to be most active in the kitchen. Activity more and more aggressive. He has even resorted to ruining their dinner. Poltergeist just seemed to be so frustrated. And he isn't finished. It goes without saying that Laney and Ben share space with one of the most active poltergeists on YouTube. I don't know if Dave and Andy are becoming more aggressive due to anger, or if their YouTube following is cheering them on. A supposed mermaid was captured sunning itself on the rocks beside this murky lake. Posted to TikTok, you may want to avoid the water after seeing this clip. Did you notice that there are two of them? You can see the other one's head peek up. Will some in the comments say this is a real mermaid? And mermaids, in fact, look scary like this. I'm not so sure about this video's authenticity. I did some digging online, and it turns out the video's original source is YouTube channel, JJPD Producciones, which specializes in CGI. Whether you choose to believe this is real or fake, it is definitely an impressive reimagination. Freaking myself out. Go away. A Reddit poster named Drexana13 catches an invisible watcher using nothing other than the face detection software of her Snapchat filter. She says she could feel someone breathing on her, and this does seem likely because more than once, the spirit gets as close as it can to her. <gasps> And is practically right on top of her as she backs into the elevator. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I think I'm panicking. But is it really a teleporting apparition? Or is Snapchat mistaking the dark circular areas between these lights as eyes? I think it's up for debate, but this Redditor seems to have made up her mind. Oh, and one last thing. It may have climbed into the elevator with her. There's a white light here that might be the reflection of her phone screen, but the movements don't quite match. So what do you think it is? This CCTV footage shows a young woman hurrying down a flight of steps, only to find something waiting for her at the bottom of the stairwell. The shadowy figure turns towards her, and if you look closely, you can almost make out the circular white outline of a face. She bolts away and the apparition quickly pursues if this video is real, then nobody knows what happened next or if she even survived. A mother is mourning the loss of her child when a single white balloon floats over to her from his casket. Relief washes over her as she soon realizes this is almost definitely a sign of reassurance from her lost loved one. Look again and you'll see not only did this balloon start from her child's casket, it was also in front of a picture of him as well. It really is as if he is sending her a balloon to cheer her up and let her know that he still cares for her from the other side, perhaps even as a final gesture to help her let go. This strange sighting looks like an oversized bird of prey from far away. Make no mistake, this is no bird. Moments ago, this creature with long wings was sighted scaling the dome of a cathedral in Mexico. 
¿Qué es eso? The demon-like creature looks over its shoulder and sees it's been caught on camera, but it doesn't much care. It flies up to the top and extends its wings before taking off. This video has gone viral in the Spanish-speaking community, so I figured I would give my analysis. Some people are saying that this is a bat, while others are saying this is a demon sighting given its location with the cathedral. But I wanted to clear up the confusion and say this is from a CGI artist named Fernando Loga. Now, if you see this anywhere else on the web since it's spreading like crazy, now you know what actually happened here. William Sloan has no idea what to make of this paranormal evidence and is asking for help from experts because he admits he doesn't know much about the other side. He was playing with a Ouija board when he made contact with a ghost who calls itself James. William must have forgotten to properly end the ceremony because ever since then scary stuff like this happens way too often around his now haunted home. Just rock it a little bit. Just a little bit. Obviously, there is no one behind it or near it except for him, but the lighting is a little low, so maybe he was pulling on a piece of string to make it look like a ghost is moving the chair. Weeks later, William tries his best to harness some type of relationship with the spirit train it if you will. One of the paranormal experiments is called the candle trick and it involves trying to get James to move the candle around. One more time. <laughs> Most objects when pulled with a string will glide over the smooth surface of a table. This sounds different, like it's being pushed down into the table with some amount of friction. William also claims to have been trying to get James to blow the candle out, but I guess that hasn't been caught on video yet. If you're still not sure what to make of this, you're not alone. Sometimes William himself has doubts, but whenever he does, it seems like the ghost has more scary moments to show. I don't know. Just a little bit. I'm not convinced. Even assuming the sliding glass door was open, the timing of the wind gust is undeniable. Much like the candle, William says he's not convinced and then James convinces him. Holy. William has saved the best paranormal evidence for last. This time he gives James a new object, a bell. He doesn't believe in modern ghost hunting equipment and believes a simpler approach will yield the best results. He rings the bell a few times to show James that it works and then invites him to do the same. You do that. Just give me one good ring if you're there. You see that? Is that happening? Since William asked for help, I'll give my overall analysis. I think videos like this are hard to fake. I've seen a lot of them and this is probably the most convincing because I don't know how he could be faking ghost movement from that close. In other words, the bizarre activity is probably real. This underwater video was shot abroad the EV Nautilus, a famous research vessel owned by the same person who found the sunken Titanic. Little does the crew know they are moments away from yet another mystifying discovery, this time in the Gulf Coast of Mexico. Off in the distance, they spy a giant creature coming at them fast. You can hear both surprise and fear in their voice as they order the captain to retreat. What? Or it could be fishing line. You don't want that. Back up. Back up. Huge siphonophore. It could be. Yeah. What looks like a long floating rope of intestine is actually a creature known only as a siphonophore. 
I'm not sure if it is being carried by the currents or moving on its own, but at one point it does come close to the team and almost seems to demonstrate a limited degree of curiosity as it hovers nearby. If you think this particular specimen is large, they can actually grow to be hundreds of feet long. Saphinophores are carnivores, but thankfully for us humans, this one seems to prefer the bottom of the ocean floor, far away from where we tend to swim. A YouTuber named RazakTube is ringing people's doorbells and then blending into their Christmas ornaments wearing a custom-made suit. It's a pretty funny joke until they get to the last house. When the owner comes out brandishing a firearm and a flashlight, they duck back into their car and try to play it off. It isn't long before their cover is blown and the neighbor comes stomping over. Wait, he's right there. He's a gun. Say hello. Is he coming towards us? Yeah. Hello, sir? Did you just come to my door, knocking on my door? Sorry, I can't see anything. Yeah, you're right, you can't see anything. At this point, they stop making the YouTube video and quickly get out of there. I have little doubt that this video is completely real, especially considering the bonus footage his friend was able to shoot from the back seat. Who are you? 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 It sounds to me like he was debating on calling the cops on them, and fortunately decided not to. What would you do if the ghost that's haunting your house doesn't want to share it with you? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this redditor writes, Through this edit together of me being haunted and I'm terrified. In the beginning of the clip, Mossy asks the spirit if he can please enter his room, and the door swings closed. We'll take that as a no. He hurries to open it and reveals that there's no one behind it or inside, as he mentions that his fan is turned off on its own. The fan flings itself from the table beside his bed. Lastly, he turns on his piano keyboard and asks the spirit to play a song. The spirit obliges, pressing a few random keys. Is this a harmless haunting, or is something more evil at play? Redditor Bestia Hermosa advises that the Redditor sweep everything out of this house. She writes, When you come back into your home, close the door behind you without looking back, outside your door in order to have any bad juju stay out, and no unwelcoming entities in your home. We hope Bestia's advice works. This spirit doesn't seem like he's interested in welcoming the living. Could that flicker of light you see fast past be someone's soul? Published to YouTube by Tomato Superman to the Ghosts subreddit. This security footage from the Golden Cross Weather Spoon in Broomsgrove in the UK shows just what happens in old haunted places after dark. The security footage reveals a strange, iridescent pink light flash around the corner and down the hallway before vanishing. Tomato Superman says that he's a skeptic but admits he found this odd. He writes that the place has been closed for three weeks and that the alarms had gone off, which is why staff came in to check it out. This is what happens in the recording that seems to set off the alarms. He said the security system also started to break down immediately after. Many in the comments aren't sure what to think either, although some lean hard into the spirit world. And could this be something similar? A spirit making its presence known in this place? It certainly doesn't look like your everyday dust orb. This video, supposedly leaked by a former NASA employee while orbiting the Earth from space, apparently shows the fabled Black Knight satellite in action. According to theorists, the Black Knight satellite is actually thousands of years old and made by extraterrestrials, not humans. Many people believe that NASA is going to great lengths to cover up the existence of this foreign object, as well as whoever created it. The video itself looks pretty old, possibly from the 60s or 70s. The quality is grainy due to either aging or CGI effects. Based on what you've seen here, Tell me if you think this is a real cover-up or just video editing. A YouTuber named RJ32 is at the beach in Southern California when one of his kids sees a fast-moving round creature in the clear water. Watch this part and give me your best guess as to what this could be. And don't worry if you can't tell yet, because you and he are about to get a much closer look. RJ32 curiously walks over to where he last saw what he thinks was a flounder and starts kicking around. 
panic sets in as he realizes he's uncovered a stingray that was trying its best to hide from him in the sand. I don't think the stingray is full grown, but take a closer look and tell me if I'm wrong. Mature or not, the tail seems like just the right size to go through your foot if you aren't careful. RJ32 gets a quick warning jab and is sent limping to the beach. If this is what a baby can do, I wouldn't like to see the work of an adult. A YouTuber named Ghost Chic believes she has a problem in her home of the paranormal variety. One day her dog just starts patrolling the living room, as if on guard even though there is nothing out of the ordinary and no strange noises. I'm wondering if it is annoyed by something on television or at something we can't see standing there. Then it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Whatever it is, he seems satisfied that it's gone for now, but then he tries to track it. Meanwhile, notice how the smaller dog doesn't seem to care at all. Is everything okay? It's definitely weird, although maybe it could have just been a bug or something. But still, that doesn't explain how on a different day, both of her dogs get up to see who's at the door. The door opens and I think I might see a shadow pass through, though it could be the outside light. As soon as she's coming in to see what's wrong, the barely discernible orb passes overhead, unseen to her at the time but caught on camera nonetheless. And when she later goes ghost hunting using a Kinect in the same room, she detects a spirit by the window. I want to pan so you can see that there's no one else over there with her. No one's on my curtain. Then, something eerie happens. So is this a paranormal encounter? Or is this person waving their hand at 38 seconds, also moving it with their hand during this part? I'll let you decide. Based out of the southern city of D'Armonville, Exploring Alabama is a YouTube channel that takes on the creepiest abandoned places in the entire state. One such video is an abandoned church that's in the early stages of decay. Inside is a mess but still structurally sound. Some rooms are too dark and creepy for him to willingly go into, so he mostly stays in the more well-lit areas and continues to explore until he gets his share of footage. As he's leaving, something compels him to take one last look in the main room, and that's when he records it. Some are calling this a mysterious creature, while others say this is only a stray cat and nothing more. It's too far away to tell for certain, but I think it's interesting and worth talking about. So what do you think? This paranormal investigator's first look into the haunted Bel Air house cemented its title as most haunted house in the US. What's more, the Bel Air spirits are aggressive. The following occurred in the seance room. What the Something just pushed me off the chair. What? Something just pushed me off the chair. Are you kidding me? No, it didn't move. The chair also appeared to move on its own after Karen is pushed off of it. The team also believes they captured demonic laughter right before this incident. The basement door kept opening by itself, and they went down to check it out. As they leave the room, you can hear faint wheezing. Listen closely. Matt, I think we found that light for at least on the stairs. It's that mad at you. I don't want to shut the lights off while you're doing that. What was that? The team concludes that the spirit heard laughing was a mischief maker en route to the seance room to push Karen off her chair. While the laughter could be explained as one of the crews wheezing as they walk toward the basement door, the fall off of the chair looks genuine. Either it's legit or well-framed and well-acted. 
I think it's real. What do you think? Mysterious footage of a strange event caught on CCTV leaves one man wondering if they live in a haunted house when a bookshelf purges itself of reading materials in the dark of night. Soon afterwards, the door opens and a man looks into the empty hallway like he's seen a ghost. Judging from his timid reaction, thrown objects are a classic sign of poltergeist activity. However, some people in the comments say this was done with strings. There's one book that falls in the opposite direction as the rest. Is this simple physics or another sign from the paranormal? Back in 1993, this TikToker's father took a video on a sharp camcorder. She thinks he captured a ghost. Posted on TikTok by Olivia Bishop, the mysterious video shows a child at play while her parents watch. For all those Gen Zs out there, this is a camcorder. We'd set it up, press record, and go about our day. I don't know why, it was just a 90s thing. And just so you guys know, we've had a ghost in every house that we've lived in, so that's why I found this very intriguing. Go ahead and watch that pumpkin in the left-hand corner, and let me know what you think. A small plastic pumpkin sits at the end of a slide near the camcorder. After a moment, it rolls across the floor on its own for no discernible reason. Some in the comments note that the baby looks over at the pumpkin at the exact moment, like she senses something is there. Olivia claims to have had a ghost in every house they've lived in. Is this one of them? It appears that's the case. While exploring a haunted farmhouse alone, Dan from Nighthawks Paranormal hears something present. Make it fall forwards or backwards. I'll just push it up. You can hear faint footsteps, but when Dan looks over the landing, no one is there. Dan hears numerous other sounds in the house, including a male voice talking. And strange whispers. What the flipping heck was that? Please tell me you heard that noise then. I definitely get creepy vibes from this place and wouldn't doubt that spirits are abound. All the unnerving whispers and unexplained noises do suggest the presence of John Penswick or some other spirit. What do you think is the case? We're gonna analyze some strange things on this list, but this is perhaps the clearest visually. This YouTuber published three videos of this sighting in April of 2014 writing, Original raw footage found of the Turkey UFO seen by dozens of residents between 2007 and 2009. The clip is perhaps one of the clearest I've seen in recent memory. Its shape is unlike that of any man-made air vehicle, as are its lights, which slant along the wings of the aircraft. The clip captures a close-up as well as footage of the object at a distance. It's certainly a strange sight in the sky over Turkey, with some in the YouTube comments calling it the real thing and one of the most important captures ever. Most in the comments rave at the quality of the image, being that most UFO captures are blurry, low-quality footage. With nearly six minutes in this video clip and two other clips to follow, we're hard put to explain what this could be but the real thing. Trevor Dealey didn't show up for work and his co-workers are worried. He never misses work no matter what. When he misses another day, they call the Dublin police. Detectives check cameras. Trevor is a redhead over six feet tall, hard to miss. The year is 2000, so they don't have many CCTV systems, but they have enough. This is what they find. His co-workers were with him at an office party at a bar called Copperface Jacks. They moved the party to a nightclub called Buck Whaley's and Trevor Dealey stays there until close. It's about 3.30 a.m. at this point and Trevor has already said goodbye to all of his co-workers. He will see them tomorrow. Trevor doesn't go home from there. He's in a good mood so despite the wind and rain, he goes back to his place of work, a bank that's open 24-7, to grab an umbrella and to talk to some co-workers. 
outside of the bank is someone else who doesn't mind the bad weather, a man dressed in all black. They cross paths at 3.34 in the morning. This man has been here since 3.05, simply standing around a bank in the middle of the night for about half an hour. He waits 8 seconds and then follows Trevor to a side gate. There they talk for 10 seconds. The stranger is as tall as Trevor and looks stronger. Trevor unlocks the gate. The man waits for at least a minute as Trevor talks to some people inside. He doesn't mention the man dressed in black, so he must not have felt in any danger, or else he would have no doubt asked for help. About half an hour later is when Trevor comes out with an umbrella. He unlocks the gate and heads home. The man dressed in black appears. Five minutes later, Trevor leaves his best friend a voicemail. Hi Glenn, I've missed you there. Just on my way home, all going good. I'll talk to you tomorrow. It was the last words anyone would hear from him. Trevor is on Haddington Road except something looks wrong. He's in quite a hurry. 22 seconds passed and someone speed walks behind him, a person wearing all black, and that's where the trail ends. None of the other surveillance cameras show Trevor again. He was definitely moving fast in the last video. He could have been running because the rain got worse, but I'm fairly sure he was being stalked. Police were able to verify that the man dressed in black behind him was the same person who was at the bank, standing outside of a bank for a half hour at night, is shady to begin with, but then waiting for a half hour for someone to come out and following them for another 15 minutes home is all the circumstantial evidence detectives needed to determine Trevor had his life taken. They were never able to learn who the man dressed in black was. The disappearance remains an unsolved mystery 20 years later. Later. Not even a 100,000 euro reward in recent years has been enough to make anyone step forward. With that said, the case was reopened in 2016. The video is uploaded by the National Police Force of Ireland and needs more attention. I would like to make the surveillance video go viral in hopes that someone has the answer. He probably lost his life, but we can't rule out being taken captive. Maybe we can help find him and give his remaining family closure. While driving in Siberia, this dash cam captured a mythical creature on a snowy road. Redditor M Unexplained shares it in this scary clip. Do you see it? It looks like an enormous biped figure. Let's see it again. Do you think this is a Yeti? Whatever it is, it's leaving experts baffled. The power goes out and a man must go into the basement to find the circuit breaker. There's only one problem. This is where I hear the booming at night. Once he gets downstairs, his beam is swallowed in the darkness, and while fumbling around, he barely catches a glimpse of a pale face down there with him. And by the time he gets the flashlight to work again, it's already too late. Whatever this is a face of, ghost or otherwise, I doubt it's a mask because at 50 seconds you can see its mouth open and its smile fade away as it lunges forward. It doesn't grab him and he is able to get away so if this is real, then it could be one of the highest resolution ghost sightings ever caught on camera to date. This one you'll have to see to believe. Published in April of 2011, this bizarre and scary video appears to have captured a ghost floating into the sky. The short clip, which was filmed in a cemetery in Indonesia, shows a strange figure dressed in white walking across the cemetery at night Nothing too unusual. Could just be someone in a hooded robe. Maybe a creepy ritual ceremony of some kind. The scary figure is hunched over as it makes its way slowly across the grounds. Then it comes to a pause and holds in place for a moment. But that moment is brief as it suddenly launches straight up into the sky and out of view. The footage looks completely authentic in my opinion. And I'm unsure if it's not real how this would have been produced. If this doesn't make you believe in ghosts, I don't know what will.
out. Jake Atafi is in his living room when someone pulls open the screen door really slowly and just lets it shut. <laughs> No follow-up knock, no footsteps walking away, nothing. Even his dog is wondering what the deal is. Jake stops recording to check and claims no one was outside. It's creepy, but it's too bad he didn't record out of his window to prove that his house is as haunted as he says it is. YouTuber Han Kardashian confronts a spirit in this scary video. He and his team see something walking the road of this village in the darkness. Oh, yeah. They don't get near enough to catch it, but they see it again from the second story of a building. What it's doing in the darkness is anyone's guess. They soon see it again though, this time closer. It disappears from its post and reappears at the far side of the road. What is this being? Is it a spirit? Or something even more sinister? It seems like a spirit to me, but I'd be wary of its magic tricks. I'm gonna save a kid out of a trunk right now. He locked himself in. When a YouTuber named David Nugent hears noise coming from the trunk of a car, he discovers a young boy has accidentally locked themselves inside. It's a hot summer day and the kid needs to be rescued immediately. So David wastes no time breaking out a window and reaching inside. He scrambles to find a button that will pop the trunk. They are sure that the child is severely dehydrated and there is not a second to lose. Finally, the trunk unlocks and a scared child comes stumbling out. You can see his hair and shirt are drenched in sweat and he is certainly not faking any of this, even though he appears to be alright for now. I still would have taken him for medical attention just to be safe. Let me know what you would have done next based on what you've seen. And thankfully, this man was nearby to save the day. JB records paranormal activity on TikTok when his car door opens by itself and an orb appears. The car door opens even wider and then you see a black orb fly past. It seems like it could be paranormal until you look at the trees blowing and realize the car door probably blew open because it was a windy day. The first orb was probably a lens flare coming off from the car door and the second black orb looks like the shadow of a bird flying by. So well over 6,000 people are saying this is a scary video. I would agree unless you look a little more closely a second time. A team of ghost investigators patrol through a dark farmhouse at 3 a.m. and set up their equipment. Suddenly, their thoughts are interrupted by an overwhelmingly powerful force. Hey, over here. What's that? What was that? An adjacent door flies open soon as they shine their flashlight up into the attic. The team feels like they are being watched from something outside. They're talking about what to do next when they witness another display of brute force. We get to experience an EVP session in the creepy abandoned house. And Something smashes the window out and they see what appears to be a white apparition slowly walking away. The object has no distinct shape and somehow seems to be both near and far at the same time. What the f was that? <gasps> Holy sh There's somebody out there! All of them scramble to the car and take one last look as they leave. It's really hard to see but zoom in on the window and you'll see a head move away on the left side. Let me know if you see what I mean or not. This little two and a half foot tall fuzzy robot is called Leonardo, or Leo for short. And in 2002, when everyone was playing PlayStation 2 and watching DVDs, this robot was already learning how to think, feel, and respond. Get 
alive! He's alive! <laughs> Leo was created at the MIT Media Lab in Massachusetts. I know that doesn't look scary at all, but that's the whole point. It's designed so you won't want to be afraid of it. They want you to come closer so that it can learn from you. There's something disturbing about a fuzzy robot exploiting our natural trust for cute animals as a way to help it learn more about interacting with people. I doubt that they would need to downplay its appearance so greatly if the concept of AI wasn't so dangerous and scary to begin with. Anyway, Leo quickly learned how to do stuff after being shown only one time. Press the red button. Note how in this next part, Leo is not asked to press the buttons at all, but does so anyway. Have you learned to turn all the buttons on? Very good. Again, Leo is not asked to press them. It was asked if it knew how to press them. It correctly assumed that was what she was going to ask of it next. Even today's robots can barely predict what humans want, but this robot, who is two decades old, is able to make its own decisions. Next, the scientist flies an object around so that Leo can learn how to track things with its mounted camera eyes. Much like Leo's harmless appearance, they use an Elmo doll to disarm our senses. It's able to track this Elmo doll without problem. It learns how to identify and track red things if asked. Here, it remembers Big Bird's face and is able to find Big Bird when asked. Can you find Big Bird? Leo has a neutral expression at first. When the scientist says that Big Bird is a friend, Leo likes him. Hey Leo, look at Big Bird. Don't you think he's great? It can also be trained to not like something. Leo, Cookie Monster is very bad. He's very bad, Leo. He's a scary monster who wants to get your cookies. If Leo can be taught how to fear or love, then he could also be taught how to hate and destroy. Think about what a bigger robot could do with these abilities. It could be trained to be a police robot, a self-learning face-scanning cyborg that can be taught to do great good or great evil. Or even more terrifying, maybe it could come to the conclusion of what's good and what's evil on its own. Leo could be an early prototype for all that and more. Again, this is just an opinion, but it creeps me out to keep robotic AI looking as soft, cuddly, and unassuming as possible. The Borgwanet House, built in 1876 in Sweden, is said to be one of the most haunted places in the world. Scratching, knocking, and screaming comes from the walls, not to mention shadow figures and objects moved by a ghost. The first reports of paranormal activity were in 1927, and they've continued ever since. Dima Maslenikov wants to document any and all paranormal activity on camera. It does not take long. <laughs> the house is still when he hears a weird noise. It sounds like an EVP of a distant scream. He gets up and looks in the room. Two knocks, both coming from this door. He sets up a toy for a ghost to play with that also has a motion sensor. 
Честно говоря, вот про эту комнату я толком ничего не знаю. И про нее пол. Not only does the motion detector fall off, it continues to stay on for a full three seconds. When he turns around, something was in the room with him, a paranormal entity. There wasn't anyone in the room. The bear falls over on its own. Next, he finds an infamous old rocking chair that's said to be the center of a lot of paranormal activity. He takes a flash Polaroid and notices a large dark shadow hanging over it, a shadow that does not look like it was cast by the chair because it's in front. He tries to recreate the lighting conditions and is unable to make the same round shadow appear. No matter how many pictures he takes, it never comes close to being like this one. This does seem to indicate that it's a shadow figure caught on camera in the first photo. The investigator summons his courage and goes exploring the second floor of the Borguanet house. As he's watching the ceiling light moving by itself, a ghost pushes him. Watch for the camera blur as it walks by. That's when he notices a heavy piece of furniture has been pushed in front of a door. Someone was trying to keep something from getting out of its room. He moves the barricade and looks inside. It's an attic space with a small table for someone small to eat at by themselves. The space is empty. Whatever they were trying to keep inside has already left, so the legend spoke of shadow people screaming and knocking from the walls and objects moving by themselves. It's hard to believe it, but he really does seem to have encountered all of the creepy stuff in one visit, and it all somehow seems real. A woman has a full-on break from reality while on public transportation. She carries a full conversation with herself in some sort of laughing tone that only she can understand. Then she becomes absolutely overwhelmed with grief before snapping out of it. <laughs> When someone approaches her to offer comfort, she switches back to laughter with a glare. The person wisely keeps their distance and does not come any closer. Next, the woman pulls out a dirty towel with stains and disappears into her own world, apparently laughing again. I really hope she gets the help she needs, because this seems like some sort of mental episode that needs to be treated fast. She and everyone around her are lucky that this didn't escalate to the point where someone had to physically intervene. With a pair of tweezers in one hand and a bucket in the other, Rory Schumach approaches Lacey, a pet monitor lizard with a tick that needs to be carefully removed. The sun is in his eyes, and he's too busy looking for the tick to pay attention to the other end. I'm sure you saw Lacey's jaws, but it also tried to whip him in the face with its tail. After watching this failed attempt, I would probably have a professional vet perform a tick removal, but tell me if you can think of a better way. A YouTuber named Audrey and Liz is excited to recreate a science experiment. She learned that if you soak a dollar bill in isopropyl and light it on fire, it won't cause any damage. The, I'm gonna dip the dollar. Everything is going according to plan, but then she messes up by holding the bill over the open container, catching it on fire. She tries to pour water into the container to extinguish the flames, but when that doesn't work, she makes the biggest mistake of all. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh my god! Panicking, Audrey flips over the flaming liquid and sets her entire table on fire. She turns off the camera so we don't get to see exactly how this situation was solved. Obviously, she managed to escape with her life and later uploads the video onto YouTube. But if any of the liquid got on her clothes or hair, 
it could easily be an entirely different story. While investigating the haunted Bel Air house, Sunny finds that the stories are true. Sunny's experience there gets off to a rocky start. The crew starts to sense things and hear things. Oh my What? Oh man, Sonny was coming up. You cheat, why you got your light on? I well, I was trying to come down the steps. You got your light on too. Y'all up here like a bunch of to turn your light off. My light is off, man. And then footsteps. Came over here. Kind of like footsteps, but I think uh, maybe picking up Christmas. But do they belong to his crew, or is someone unseen closer than he thinks? Either way, I think it's time to find the exit of this place. Hina Tahir and her sister are camping in New Jersey's Double Trouble State Park when they notice a strange woman who is half submerged in a local lake. Her clothes are all white and she has a serious expression on her face as she sways in place. To this very day, the two girls aren't sure if what they recorded was a live person or a ghost. If it was a person, then I have absolutely no idea why they would be in the water while fully clothed. And if it was a ghost, then maybe her body is lurking in the shadow waters below. Whatever the case may be, Hina and her sister decide to leave the woman in peace and dare not go any closer. This poltergeist is not at all timid. Published by JCG Dragon in August of 2019, this scary video was filmed in a haunted home in Argentina. The video shows a bedroom door slamming as hard as it can. <laughs> The cameraman approaches the door, opens it, and in the opposite room, captures objects being thrown on the floor. Assumedly by the same poltergeist, the cameraman enters the room crying in fear. When he turns the corner, there is nothing there, but slamming is heard again. <laughs> and he turns to find the door from the other room has slammed shut again. And what's worse, the power goes out. It sounds like the camera is dropped to the floor. What havoc will now ensue in the darkness? As the video ends there, it's left up to our imaginations. But judging from how these events are playing out, I can't think it's anything good. The last thing you'd want to see in a mall closed at night is a kid, or even worse, a child ghost. That's what a mall security guard in Brazil purportedly recorded at 2.30 a.m. The video was later submitted to Reddit. In the clip, you can see a small figure moving up what appears to be an escalator at a distance. What an escalator would be doing on at 2.30 a.m., I'm not sure. When the security guard races over to the escalator, the camera pans up, but there's no one in sight. It's also unclear if the escalator is still moving. Then it pans around and behind him in the darkness. You can see a child figure in white skipping across the linoleum. BNNRP in the comments translates the Portuguese. According to him, the security guard says, See, what did I tell you? Look at her there. This is the second time I see her this week. I had to film this to show people because nobody believes me when I tell them. Don't know about you, but I believe him now. A YouTuber named Nosy is poking around an old abandoned home that is in rough shape. The place is crumbling on all sides and covered in debris. 
Some sections look like they could collapse at any minute, so he doesn't go too far inside. It's the middle of the day though with plenty of natural light, so Nosy creeps around the outskirts and even dares to check out a few rooms for a better look. He's having a look through one of the more secure looking rooms on the bottom floor when apparently something notices his presence and starts rushing his way. Nosy wisely retreats out to the nearest exit and cuts his adventuring short for the day. The upstairs was not safe for him to explore, so it's doubtful that someone would live up there, though still possible I suppose. Either way, the footsteps were clearly human and not from an animal, and Nosy was clearly all by himself throughout this video. Therefore, the only other explanation I can come up with, besides a homeless person, is an actual ghost. Whatever it is, Nosy says that he will go back to the house and solve the mystery once and for all. So be sure to check on his channel to see if he ever does. I hope he stays safe and I wish him the best of luck. This is not your average hanger on. While hanging in this creepy forest, note in the first video, this is a five man crew. And yet, in the second video, a sixth person is lurking in the background, and he's acting very creepy. What is that dude doing back there? Is he part of the group, or do they even realize that he's there? Even if he is a member of the crew, I'd say they should keep an eye on him. His behavior seems a little bizarre to say the least. If you fear snakes, you might want to hide under the covers for this one. YouTuber Falcon X-Ray published this footage in November of 2015 with the description, just started cleaning the pool for summer, came home and found a snake having a swim cooling down from the heat. The snake looks to be about 4 feet long and is quite thick. The snake is shown circling the pool's edge, probably trying to find its way out. Once or twice it does creep its head up the wall of the pool, but it doesn't make it very far. While the snake's slithering movements in the water are creepy enough, one wonders if this breed is poisonous. What kind of snake is it? Whatever the monster is. The uploader said that he built a cage and kept it. Don't know if I'd want to keep that thing in my home, but I'm sure he's happy with his new pet. This home surveillance footage from 2009 shows the Jameson family acting strangely on their property in Eufaula, Oklahoma shortly before they disappeared. They can be seen making about 20 trips to and from their house without talking to each other at all. Some investigators even believe they were in a trance-like state. The Jamesons were not seen again for years until hunters found their scattered remains in 2014. No one knows what happened to them because their remains were too decomposed forensic testing. The cause of their demise has never and probably will never be determined. So all that remains of their last days is this videotape. A YouTuber named Tret uploaded the scary moment in Russia that has people wondering what it could possibly be. He looks down a boarded up well in the middle of the forest and sees a scary face in the dark. This could be a weird creature sighting or a ghost sighting depending on how you look at it. To be more realistic though, I see the head of a turtle. 
The blue eyes are weird though, so maybe that's not it at all. Is this the world's angriest poltergeist? Published by Paranoiacs in December of 2021. When the crew arrives at this place in the mountains, they quickly discover they're not alone. They enter the building and hear more and more banging noises. <laughs> When the camera turns toward the door, a pale face can be seen briefly peering around it. More banging erupts upstairs. And it sounds like things are being thrown down to prevent the crew from coming up. They head back outside and the banging continues. This has sent one of the crew into hysterical laughter. You. <laughs> Then the door bursts open. <laughs> back inside, things are still being thrown around. They head back to the stairs and finally venture upstairs, despite the poltergeist not letting up. Even. Back on the ground floor, a large iron pole is thrown. And what sounds like footsteps are heard above them. When they make it to the top, they probably wish that they hadn't. Oh, <laughs> After more torment from the poltergeist, something again peers around the corner. Is this what's causing all the mayhem? If so, the power coming from this small figure is terrifying. A research team known as Ghost in Mystery wants to reveal all of the paranormal activity happening in their home country of Bangladesh, of which there is plenty to be found. They go exploring a haunted place in the woods. Everything in the forest seems to wail at them not to go inside. <laughs> and someone tell me why they hear a child's voice while investigating this well. Okay. <laughs> Freaky, right? The same ghost child's voice returns once more after they find a way inside, perhaps to shout a warning. Look again. At 17 minutes, 4 seconds, they briefly pause on a large figure next to a meat hook. That can't be good. One investigator feels overwhelmed by a paranormal feeling, a wave of negative energy if you will, and they need to rest. That's when they chance upon a makeshift stick hut in the woods behind the abandoned house. Wait, I see something really scary inside. <laughs> Their light crosses the glowing eyes of a large figure standing on two legs. It's there for but a moment, and then the unknown creature sighting is no longer caught on camera. They end the paranormal exploration shortly after. Who's hiding behind this mirror? This short clip posted by TikToker, Sion Wick, prompts that question. Watch it snap this Pokemon card up. The TikToker writes, we're waiting for it to trade us back. In the comments, Reed Hart points out the black fingers at the mirror's edge at the beginning of the clip. Take another look. They look more like spider legs than fingers to me. But if that's the case, this guy's got a mad strong spider on his hands. A YouTuber named Davey Dustin has a channel that is all gameplay videos, except for this one. This is when he and his friend decide to explore no less than four old abandoned houses in the spirit of Halloween. 
Most of the houses are little more than a series of rusted out rooms, but the final house feels way off. They feel out of place almost as soon as they step in, but they manage to get through a locked door and keep going. Almost immediately, they notice broken glass on the floor stained in red. Is that blood? They continue to find more red stains in other rooms and debate whether this is paint or something else more sinister. Orbs are circling all around them now as they investigate deeper into the house. Something is very wrong in this section and they can feel it. Eventually, they discovered a tattered old photograph of a family. It looks to be at least 20 years old, if not more. Maybe they used to live here, and if so, perhaps the red substance on the floor used to belong to them. Things only get worse upon reaching the basement, where a mysterious hole in the wall gives them both a dreadful feeling. A single white tennis shoe is laying just outside the hole, forgotten long ago until this very moment. Maybe the other shoe is buried in the hole, still attached to its owner. Josh is afraid of heights and his family is giving him a hard time about it. They bet him some money that he won't be able to stay on the ledge of a watchtower for long. He takes the bet and this is his immediate reaction. <laughs> oh my god. Can't be no. no. Uh, you gotta, you gotta be out for one whole minute. Josh's family ups the ante to ten dollars. If he can make it all the way around the walkway, pale and shaky, he inches his way across the platform, timidly clinging to the wall at times to keep from falling over. At one point, it looks like he isn't going to make it much longer. Can't escape out here. Okay, I'm ready to turn around. No, nope. no, nope. I can't do it. There's people in the way. I can't stand up here for this long. But he summons all of his strength and eventually makes it full circumference. If you have a fear of heights, then let me know if you would be willing to walk around this tower for 10 bucks like Josh just did, or if it would take way more to make you budge. A YouTuber named Brady Galloway is exploring an abandoned school all alone when he hears some kind of high pitched yelp emerge from the other side of a heavy wooden door. It almost sounds like a small dog, even though there is no way that one would be all the way back here. He opens the door, presumably to see if the animal needs help, and waiting on the other side is a creature that was once human. In this frame, one eye is large and yellow, while the other is small and red. His neck looks turned at an impossible angle and almost broken. Even when he gets closer, the two eyes remain different colors, and neither of them are natural in any way, as he descends upon Andy with a final blow. This is apparently police dash cam footage from Arizona. The officer is clearly on highway patrol at night, and after a short while, he takes a turn down a dirt road. This this is where he spots a woman standing alone in the road with some small embers near her feet. Though it originally appears she is standing with her back turned to the police officer. Soon after, she lifts up her arms, and there appears to be two glowing eyes facing the officer. The footage ends shortly after with no further explanation. I searched but couldn't find any footage of the incident after this part, so we may never know what happened next to this officer or this woman with glowing eyes. This video comes from a supposedly haunted home in Chiefland, Florida. Diane Fraser and her paranormal investigation group attempt to summon the ghost of a child named David by inviting him to play with a toy top. Sure enough, the small piece of plastic soon begins to move on its own. Can you make sure that's zoomed in correctly? It is. Yeah. I want you to see that. You missed Look at it. That. Oh, good, good job. Point. Can you get that, Gabby? I am getting... Yes, yes there he goes. Whoa. Eventually, Diane feels pains in her stomach and they are able to determine that David was kicked by a horse, possibly centuries ago. I have never seen this ghost equipment or software before, so I'm not sure what the radar screen is for. If this is just a regular tablet with an app, then there really should be no possible way for the top to spin by itself. Upbeat Jason puts on a helmet cam and rides around the neighborhood with his friend on BMX bikes. The video is mostly a nice view of the countryside until he comes across some neighbors with aggressive dogs and no leash. Jason tries to get past them instead of taking another way around, and suddenly finds himself flanked on both sides. Ah. There you go fast. 
A dog lunges straight at Jason, jaws snapping. I don't think they make any contact, but I can tell by the sound of their bark that they are ready to attack. Clearly, they would have protected their territory if Jason stuck around, which he does not. But just when he thinks he is a safe distance away, he hears barking behind him and the chase is on again. Eventually, an adult picks them up and quickly puts their bike in the back of their truck before anything else happens. I really hope the two friends never bike past that house again. Nathan, two of your life, lives in a remote mountain location and has never revealed his home address. This still doesn't stop someone from apparently figuring out where he lives and paying him a visit. Nathan wasn't home at the time, so they decide to leave a really creepy note for him to come back to. The person leaves their personal cell phone number with instructions to call. Just the fact that they were essentially tracking Nathan down makes this note come off as aggressive and weird. I think it would be really interesting if someone could analyze the handwriting and tell me more about this potential stalker's personality. Later, Nathan musters up the courage to make contact with his fan, and the conversation is about as eerie as you'd expect. I'm watching you right now. Bro, I've been watching you for like the past two weeks. I'm in the tree right beside your room. Nathan looks around, but ultimately, he doesn't see anyone else. They probably were not nearby, because they could have made a noise if they really wanted Nathan to see where they were. I think this probably is just one of his friends, or else some random weirdo messing with his head. Then again, a short while later, he sees a black SUV speeding away that he has never seen before. So maybe someone really was watching his every move from a distance. The Unliving appears in this live stream. Posted to TikTok by Luckman and Jay. A pair of guys are speaking to the camera when behind them something mysterious photobombs their live stream. The robed figure over the young man's shoulder sports a dark face and a head covering. The boy moves in front of it for a moment, blocking the mysterious being from view. He then moves forward again and the figure has vanished. What is this thing? It almost looks like a statue of the Virgin Mary. But then again, where did it disappear to? I guess we're left with more questions than answers for this video. A YouTuber named Area Awesomeness claims these pet leeches are for more than just a show. Apparently, they can help treat things, but the only way to experience these supposed benefits is by letting a leech latch on to you. And believe it or not, these ones are only about a year old and not even full size. Adults can grow up to two feet in length and would pack an even bigger bite. With this in mind, the whole situation stresses me out too much to try it, but that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think about this part. They can either be fed, I guess, human blood, animal blood, whatever you prefer. And if you would be brave enough to try, Dan from Nighthawks Paranormal is exploring this demon house in an investigation that will give you chills. As he enters, he hears a strange moan. Okay, I have got my torch as well. Oh, help me. He continues to hear things off screen. But there's nothing there. Still, it's almost like he's being followed. So that one? <gasps> Was that you then that made that noise on that? He keeps hearing faint noises. <laughs> Then he captures a figure on the connect standing near the railing. Thank you. Can you do that again? Thank you. The figure makes its way down the stairs. Can you show yourself again, please? Oh, 
Dan then feels something watching him. <sighs> Holy Was that you then? I've just heard. The spirit is now leading him. <gasps> what the flipping heck is that? You trying to get my attention in another room? Is it this room you want me in? Then Dan sees him in the mirror. Is that you? Is that you in the mirror? And from another angle... Or have you misplaced it? <gasps> Is the spirit trying to reveal itself to him? I think so. Either that or it's inviting Dan into the mirror. Redditor ZZZ747 writes, It happened again. As the Redditor explains it, they posted a video months ago noting that a neighbor's CCTV camera captured something strange, and in this post, we're seeing it for a second time. What do you think this white mist could be? Many in the comments think it's fog rolling through. Others suggest that the neighbor could be vaping. Still others think it looks like the outline of a person or a ghost. What do you think it is? I'm not 100% sold that it's supernatural, but that doesn't mean it could be. Though judging by the Redditor's title, this isn't the first time this has happened. If this is captured again, maybe we'll be able to get more concrete answers. A Russian YouTuber known as Tret shared a video online of him wandering around through a local forest equipped with a video camera. Because the video is in Russian, I'm not entirely sure what he is saying during the video, but I'm going to assume he is saying he is filming in the forest to see if he can capture anything of interest on camera. And if that is what he's saying, then he got exactly what he wished for. Wow. What the heck is that? It looks like a human face, but its eyes are glowing. And you can kind of see, it, it almost looks like a, a skull with glowing eyes. And what the heck it's doing down here is a question I do not have the answer to. It looks like it, it's at the bottom of a well and notices that it's being filmed and just sort of looks straight up into the camera. That is just terrifying. And in classic fashion, the cameraman runs away immediately after seeing this, which is totally understandable given the circumstances. Instead of looking like some sort of paranormal entity, I personally think that this looks like some sort of skeleton because of the shape of its head, and I can almost make out some bones. Interestingly though, this skeleton-like creature seems to have dark glowing purple eyes, which would be strange considering how skeletons are not alive. So what exactly is this creature that Tret saw? As for now, it remains a mystery. While investigating an old schoolhouse, this group's trail camera caught this unexplained happening. Posted to the ghost subreddit, Key Consequence 7618 explains what we're looking at here. We had come from the first classroom walking towards the second classroom. This is a light in the doorway on the left just as the board jumps up. The board that he's talking about is a piece of plywood set in a doorway. It shudders long after they've entered the room 
room. So it can't be a reverberation of the crew having walked on it. Further, as the Redditor said, a strange light appears in the window of the door, as if someone that was standing there left at that very moment. Although the Redditor says he and another member of his crew were the only two people in the house, it looks like they weren't alone. The next time you're relieved to find yourself alone in an empty subway car, consider that maybe you're not alone at all. Published to YouTube in June of 2015, this clip shows a subway car that will give you the chills. A lone man sits abroad the haunted car. After watching the clip, we wonder if he's the sole passenger, because this car has a reputation for being haunted. Because look at this darkened window pane to the left. A scary, distorted face appears here, changing expression slightly as the man sits on the opposite side, completely unaware. The face disappears and the window pane goes black again, but the distortion later reappears, looking equally upsetting. What do you think is going on here? Is this an actual face in the window? Or just a trick of the light coupled with motion from the subway? A YouTuber named Isaac Telford gathers a group of friends with one goal in mind. We're exploring an abandoned house. Haunted or not, they are certain they will be able to go exploring the house without a problem. As they laugh and joke their way from room to room, they start to get the feeling that this house might not be so abandoned after all. Dude, there's a bed. Is it made? Yo, there's a bed. It's like pillows and everything. Yeah, hold on, guys. Abandoned houses don't tend to have perfectly made beds, clothing items are randomly discarded, and create an impression that someone has been staying here for some time. We're trying. Hey, let's go downstairs. Yeah, let's get out. Let's try to talk to a ghost, all right? This is the basement, guys. We're gonna go down in it. All right, let's go, boys. It looks like mostly random clutter, but seriously, somebody please tell me what's up with the huge pile of shoes. There are shoes of all different sizes, men's and women's, an odd collection to have. It's like they're being kept as trophies. Soon they leave the house and want to go exploring an abandoned nearby prison instead. They pull up to the haunted place and are about to go inside when something bizarre happens. Okay, hold on. We have a car. Dude, there's never been a car on this road. Hey, maybe we're just gonna drink it. Oh, we should go. <clears throat> oh, are they flashing again? Isaac makes a turn and quickly shuts off his headlights. Oh my. Oh my. Dude, they, I think they saw us. Yeah, we're turning. Okay, we're gonna take off. They wait in the darkness and eventually the car passes. It's late at night by now and Isaac is nervous and tired and makes a wrong turn into a construction yard. That's when they meet up with the mysterious car again. He turns off the camera because getting out of there is more important than getting content. They managed to escape this time, but I have little doubt this was probably the same person living in the old house they explored earlier. They seem to have made an enemy out of this stranger by exploring his house. Hopefully he isn't planning to one day go exploring their houses in return. Most people know not to move after they've been in a rack, but a TikToker named XOXO Kate is getting turned up in a car that's been turned upside down. Through a shattered windshield you can see they've been struck and are now hanging suspended. I know that their adrenaline is high, and the video is definitely an original idea, but I feel like they could have had internal damage to their organs that they don't feel at the moment and could be making worse. Moving their head around with a concussion would likewise make the situation worse than it had to have been. Like I said, this video is interesting, and I'm glad they weren't thrown from the car, because the aftermath looks really serious, but I think the proper procedure would be not to move until an ambulance arrives. A ghost investigation video from Oregon, while admittedly grainy and out of focus, nonetheless captures two possibly paranormal instances that are worth analyzing. The first is a brief materialization of a shirt or tunic against the wall. From this floating clothing item, a phantom person emerges. Barely noticeable are the head, nose, and two eyes. Then again, this could be wavy details caused by motion blur. But motion blur does not explain the glowing white eyes that briefly flicker at 11 seconds into the video and quickly go away. I don't care how poor the camera quality is, whatever this is, in my opinion, it should 
should not be there, and yet it is. In a frightening Twitter thread, Gregory88 shares a frankly freaky series of posts about an experience in the woods, including a video that has Twitter more than a bit concerned. Greg's thread begins on November 30th, 2018, where he claims to have seen something in the woods. He tweets, even though it might not be super safe to be out alone in the woods, it still feels better than being home all the time. He continues writing that he was walking in some woods that would be pretty if they didn't feel so creepy. Just when he was starting to feel at ease, he came across something strange in a clearing, but he only made it about 30 feet before he ran into something much creepier. He posts a picture of what he found. It appears to be an animal skull of some kind, mounted on a rock within a blackened triangle. Other smaller rocks are placed around the triangle and on the skull in some sort of ritualistic looking design. Greg writes that he discovered something new in the wilderness every day, but he isn't nearer to comprehending what's going on. He said he felt dizzy as he headed away from the rock towards his home, but again he didn't make it far before he ran into yet another fright. A hooded woman dressed in black hovering at a distance on a hillside looking at nothing. Greg says she didn't see him as he hid behind a tree. Apparently he'd seen her before in these woods, but it had been weeks since his last sighting. After she left the hillside and drifted off into the forest, Greg darted home fearing the whole while that she'd pop out and confront him. He asks the Twitter sphere if she's a witch. If not, what are these strange ritualistic displays? He also claims the video is proof that his imagination hadn't run wild. At this point, I just want answers, and I feel like I'm getting close to getting them, Greg writes. I'm just scared of what they might be. We're all pretty scared, Greg. We all are. Was this Chilean quake natural or extraterrestrial made? Published by Paranormal Planet in April of 2014, seconds before a tremor hit a coastal region of Chile, something was spotted in the sky. The short clip captures the Chilean coast. All is calm as the cameraman scans the landscape an unidentified aircraft shoots across the sky. A half-speed clip shows the object in more detail. It's tiny and black but has no other discernible features. It's simply moving too fast. After it passes, the earth immediately begins to shake. A girl hanging onto the fence sways back and forth and the cameraman appears to fall to the ground. Many in the comments don't think this was an unidentified flying object, and some don't even think it was a quake. Mary Coday suggests, It was a milli jet and it made a sonic boom or broke a sound barrier. Others think it was a bird. Is this real? Or is it all completely staged? We're left with more questions than answers with this one. A ghost hunter doesn't even get his equipment fully set up before he detects a paranormal presence on camera. Look how quickly this shadow moves by. The shadow moves way too fast and also turns in the opposite direction as he does, meaning it can't belong to him. Here's the shadow from a second angle, this time taken from the handheld camera. Clearly, the shadow is caused by something off-camera, but whether it's human or not is up for you to decide. Daffy of Busan TV is a YouTuber from Ambon, Indonesia, who makes ghost hunting videos in Deepak City. One of the scariest, most haunted places he's ever gone exploring was a large abandoned hospital that shut down after too many things went wrong. Yeah, belum lama rumah sakit ini terbongkar, astagfirullah. One of the hospital's final mistakes before getting shut down was letting a nun named Sister Nancy pass away on the ICU floor. Now her angry spirit is watching over this haunted place and not in a loving way. Assalamualaikum. Wow. Antara gua halu atau tidak, tapi tadi gua ngeliat seperti ada orang lewat di sini. As Daffy goes exploring, only the smallest of clues, 
flashes of light where his camera is not pointing. For example, belie the presence of anything paranormal. A walled off entrance reveals an even older wing that feels entirely wrong. This place is haunted more than any other part of the hospital. He's sure of it. Soon he finds the ICU room on the second floor, the place where the ghost nun is said to haunt. He knows there's no turning back now. Tadi gue mendengar suatu dari arah sini. Oke, okay. kita langsung aja ke ruang ICU. Suster Neng sih. He leaves the ICU ward feeling extremely uncomfortable, but without conclusive paranormal evidence. And as he takes a final look around, keren, sumpah ini keren. Assalamualaikum. He hears something moving on wheels one room over. A row of cots remains undisturbed except for one that's been pulled out. I don't know if it was Sister Nancy, but I wouldn't stick around to find out. This video is over half an hour long, and I get every impression that he's truly exploring this abandoned hospital all by himself. A hospital that's every bit as haunted as the rumors say. This father and son paranormal team is about to check into a haunted hotel. Published by Paranormal Boys in December of 2021, when they first enter, they find everything in disarray. They sit down around the table, and it sounds like something has joined them. As they're using their paranormal devices, they hear a strange breathing sound, and then another unexplained noise. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. did you hear that? No? Has someone taken a room at this haunted hotel? If so, they may never leave. This clip is making waves in the Spanish YouTube community, and it's clear to see why. This associated image was posted in July of 2020 by YouTuber Curious Area. And at first, this footage seems like nothing more than your average nighttime drive. Spooky lights, empty streets, no one around. That is, until this creepy oblong figure emerges standing on the side of the road. As the car drives slowly past, the figure doesn't move from near the crosswalk. You can't make out its face or any details of its visage, but it does appear to be wearing a long robe. Would this get your heart pumping, or are your nerves made of steel? We've all encountered a Karen or two in our lives, but it's a rare occasion that we're faced with a Karen this far out of control. A ballistic individual was captured on video standing in the middle of an intersection, facing a bus, screaming at the top of her lungs. It's unclear what she's saying and why she's so angry. But what's become clear is that she's chosen to take her rage out on the bus. She targets the front window with her fist, shattering the glass. When she moves to the side door, what she's screaming is finally audible. She's telling someone to get off the bus. But whoever it is she's screaming at does not get off the bus, so she runs across the street, likely in order to escape prosecution for the damage done to public property. No further information could be found on this incident, so it's unknown what preceded the meltdown or followed it, if it was provoked, or why it escalated to this degree. Regardless, it seems like this went from 0 to 100 pretty quickly. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, by Ding Dong Dingle Dude, this redditor wrote, My friend and I saw this weird floating structure in the sky. Has anyone else seen something like this before? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. What the Dude, that's just floating up there in this f***ing sky. What the f***? What the f***? It f***ing flashed. It, it, oh my, what? Dude, are you, are you recording? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Mountain Aviator One wrote, That is the mysterious radio tower. It's obstructed by clouds. Well, the Triple B thinks it's a weather balloon. What do you think this object is? Let me know in the comments. This video was taken at a famous car race in France called the Citroën Rally. 
A police officer is keeping the peace when he makes the mistake of not looking both ways before crossing the road. His carelessness nearly gets him annihilated when one of the contestants comes rushing around the bend. The officer puts his arms out at the last second, but this would have done absolutely nothing to save him. That papery smacking sound you hear is the back of his vest actually making contact with the car. Amazingly, the police officer brushes off the event like it's no big deal, and the crowd barely has a reaction either. Maybe they've grown accustomed to close calls. Num a Twitter user named Kazuki Sake is visiting a graveyard in Japan. When he claims this pebble broke off a statue and went into a frenzy, try and translate this part into English if you can. <laughs> So what do you think is going on here? This could be an actual ghost, CGI, or maybe even just a pebble on a string. YouTube team Greg and Heather's Explorations returns to the Townsend Cemetery, where they once held hands with a spirit. Will he hold their hand again? They begin with an EVP session. Sneak peek at EVP I session. My oh my god. Do you remember me from last time? As they're examining the grave of a Confederate soldier, they hear a distant sound. It was like a Confederate soldier. Something. He was a, a, a high up in the ranks. But what is that noise? You hear that? What is it? Oh, yeah. They then discover what that sound is. Is that? Water zone. Wait. Whoa. That Wait was not minute. just on. No. Oh my. You've been saying that you felt like somebody was over yes. here messing with you. Is someone pranking them? And is the prankster living or a spirit? When they turn their ghost tube app on, they see figures all over the place. Hello? Oh, oh wow, look right there. Right in front of you. Wow. Hi. We see you. Was that you that just set this meter off? And later, they try to convince the spirit to hold hands again, this time with Patty. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Can you do that again? Yep, he's right next to you, to the left of you, yeah. Can you reach out and touch her hand? Like you But the spirit is reluctant. Heather believes the spirit is a child since it's down low. I tend to agree. That might also suggest its hesitancy to reach out, and it might explain the trickery with the faucet being turned on. This child ghost is playing games. Lately, Louise Paxton has been scared out of her mind while staying alone at her house. She says that every night a tall man dressed in all black stands outside of her door without saying a word. Now he's back. <laughs> she goes to call the police, only to find her cell phone has not been charged. At this point, Louise feels enough is enough, blade in hand. The terrified woman unlocks the door and confronts her stalker for a final showdown. She swings open the door and finds absolutely nothing on the other side. The wind picks up and howls down a cold, empty alleyway. Judging by this video evidence, it looks as though this person is an incredibly sly stalker, in which case I'm sure her problems are only just about to begin. I hope she's alright, but it's been a long time since she's posted anything to her channel. Credited to Instagram account it's so so G. These strange lights have me questioning everything. The dull lights move sporadically across the sky, darting all over with no rhyme or reason. They then disappear altogether in the clouds. Be 
being that this was filmed in Calgary. I think these might be spotlights from the Calgary Stampede, an annual rodeo that takes place in July. Then again, maybe it's what Instagrammer Christian Mukele suggests in the comments saying our alien masters are about to reveal themselves. Okay then, we're waiting. This video stands as a clear warning to always verify who is at your door before you answer it. This ring video was originally posted to TikTok by Wynn's Home Awareness. The video shows a man wearing a hood approaching the door of this residence. It's nighttime. He rings the doorbell and when the homeowner opens it, the man immediately enters without asking. It's clear he is a stranger. When the homeowner tells the man he needs to leave, the intruder starts stammering incomprehensibly. Who are you? Everybody knows. How are you? You need to leave. How far? Out there. What's the reason here, Joe? The homeowner has to physically grab the man's arm and shove him outside. As he slams the door shut, the man starts pounding on it. What? What the? That's all the stairs here. Come on, where are you going? What's the stairs here? Goodbye. Even though he's now locked out, the intruder stands on the front step looking in. He tries the handle several times, just waiting there. What are this man's intentions? We can only guess, but I'd wager they aren't good. Tyler Rowe works in a grocery store with a freezer that he and all of his co-workers are sure is haunted. First, it starts with these strange noises, almost like someone is trying to kick their way out. <laughs> The kicking noises grow more intense until finally, at 9.02 a.m., this always happens without fail. This time, Tyler is determined to get to the bottom of it. He bravely marches in and documents that absolutely nobody is inside the freezer. Watch this part and let me know if you can see anyone because I didn't. Is there a light in here? And there's nothing in here. There's nothing, nobody, anything. It's just open. I can't help but suspect that a past employee somehow got locked in the freezer one morning and did not make it. Now they are trapped in spirit, kicking the door much like they did in their final hours on Earth. If someone can give me a mechanical explanation of why the door would burst open by itself at 9 in the morning every day, I would believe otherwise. A creepy dash cam video from Saudi Arabia shows a woman sitting in the middle of a busy highway. She seems to be stuck in a trance as she stares straight ahead, taking a high beam to the face without looking down or covering her eyes. It's unclear how long she has been here for or for how much longer she intends to stay. Meanwhile, the driver seems to be having a conversation with a young passenger. They don't speak much, but tell me what is being said here during this short exchange, if you can. Just when it seems like they are about to pull around her, the mysterious figure speaks in a shrill voice. Two people approach her in uniform, probably police, and she waves them off. I imagine that they are telling her this is unsafe, but apparently she doesn't want any of their help and seems perfectly content screaming in the street. I have no idea what information could be so important that she feels the need to do this. Some people are saying this is a witch sighting and that she is foretelling a future of some kind. Something possibly of terrible proportions that you and I definitely don't want to come true. No matter what the situation is, I really hope she gets the help she so clearly needs. A YouTuber named Joe Hall takes to the streets in search of the supposedly supernatural black-eyed ghost children who come out at 3 a.m. This trek eventually turns into a long walk along the railroad tracks in the middle of the night. They are just about to give up when one of them spots a small piece of white fabric flapping in the bushes. Oh my god. What is that thing? We gotta get out of here, man. That thing right there, you see it? Yeah, well, why are we here Let's though? go, let's like go. From the shadows comes a person draped in a white gown, just like the legends say. 
However, I think there's probably a strong chance that this was one of their friends because it pretty much looks and runs like a normal person in my opinion. It's following them for a while, but then it disappears at exactly 11 minutes and 3 seconds, which is strange, though it could be achieved with some simple editing. They reach their ride a minute later, and shortly before they peel off, this white piece of fabric flaps behind them. Maybe I was wrong about my earlier assumption about this being made up. Unfortunately, we never do get to see its face to tell if the eyes were fully black like the legend says, or not. A man in Indonesia goes exploring the most haunted places of his home country to unlock supernatural myths of a different official nature, hence the channel's name. Out here, the ghost world has formed communities deep in the rainforest. He knows this place well and senses one near. Standing before him is an eerie apparition that gives me anxiety like something has gone wrong. The paranormal exploration does not end with him running away. He has become strangely at ease around them, less terrified over time, or maybe okay with them all along. After a little more exploring, our adventurer finds a second spirit and does not come as near. He might be afraid, but I think he's simply respecting their space. I did some research and this creepy video looks like a possibly real ghost sighting of a Pokong spirit. Seen mostly in Indonesia and Malaysia, it's said that the spirit's appearance under the shroud depends on the current state of their physical body. In other words, if he were to look underneath, he would see how rotten they were. But he dares not do such a thing. These are his ancestors and he might have wanted to show us that there are real ghost videos on the internet if you know where to look, and that a ghost haunting the woods doesn't automatically mean it's one of the scariest places in the world. It's a really good point, but this scary video's got me freaked out nonetheless. It's common knowledge that animals are very sensitive to spirits. This woman's dog seems to have detected something supernatural near the stairs. Published by Exploring with Felicity in December of 2021, this scary video captured a mysterious full-body apparition on camera. After her dog wouldn't approach the stairs, even for his ball, Felicity set up a security camera to see what was going on. Here's what she found. In a corner of the hallway near the stairs, an apparition appears for a moment. It moves around and then disappears before reappearing again and turning in place. It looks like a woman with long hair or a veal wearing a long dressing gown. The apparition, dis the apparition disappears and reappears once more, much closer to the camera. But it looks like she's bent over this time and standing up, her hair hanging over her head. The image really gives me the chills. Is this a ghost nun, as some are suggesting in the comments? I'm not sure if that's the case, but whatever she is, she certainly doesn't seem very friendly. When Gulf of Mexico explorers venture deep below the sea, they may not have been expecting to get creeped out from what they found down there. The EV Nautilus was able to capture footage of a ghost shark, also called a chimera, near Granada in the Caribbean. Ghost sharks are rarely seen, as they're usually too deep, anywhere from 8,500 feet to around 650 feet. For marine communities to capture on film, and this particular ghost shark was even rarer, as it had an eerie smile and was riddled with parasites. To capture this amount of creepiness on video, underwater is quite a feat. A team member said, he looks like he's smiling, it's like a joker smile. Don't know about you, but I'd cringe to be on the receiving end of this smile. A YouTuber named Nellis is exploring a haunted mansion in Bosnia where many people lost their lives during a dark chapter of their nation's history. Active minds dot the surrounding woods so they have to head straight inside. One of the first things they see is what they think are belts hanging from the ceiling that people could have looped around their neck, though I think they could have been hooks from hanging lamps. 
And there's them belts again. Look up there, there's them belts. Do people hang themselves? There's definitely people here. I think they're sat around there. We see them again up close for a couple of minutes later, and they aren't belts at all. But I still don't know what they were used for. But wait, forget about the ceiling. Look at what's hanging against the wall. Going back to the first clip I mentioned earlier, it seems it was there all along. Is something living in this underground train station? Posted on the r slash ghost subreddit by Ben Taylor. The scary video shows the behind the scenes nature of the underground at Crew Station in the UK. As the Redditor and his friend walk through the station, mysterious haunting noises echo through the underground like a creature is roaring or wailing like an animal. The roaring repeats over and over. The boys walk through a fenced-in area and the sound gets louder, but its source isn't any more apparent. <laughs> The sound repeats and then changes a little, causing the cameraman to turn around and hightail it out of there. It stops for a moment but then continues again as they decide to retreat. <laughs> The Redditor writes, The area was checked for dogs, animals, and even an injured security guard by transport police as the noise was causing the staff to stay away from the area. No dogs, no humans, no pipes were there for the dog to stick its nose in. A howl down and security informed us nothing was found the next day, but the noise returned the next night. One Redditor in the comments, Nullulus, says it might be a small deer species that's an invasive breed in the UK called the Munchok Deer. Others still think it's an injured dog or a piece of machinery. But the Redditor seems to lean toward the paranormal as he says other employees have heard strange noises and seen unexplained objects moving. We could make theories all day, but it's only the Redditor and his co-workers who witnessed it in person. So if they're saying it's paranormal, I think that explanation makes the most sense to me. Explore With Us is an interesting YouTube channel where a family explores abandoned places that are way out in the middle of nowhere. During one expedition, the crew stumbles upon an old log cabin that gives them a bad feeling from the beginning. They decide to enter anyway. They poke around for a while and find mostly nothing else but trash. The floor is littered with cardboard and scraps of wood. Then they come across what I feel was the source of their hesitation earlier. Some more clothes on the ground. We need a flashlight. An old noose hangs directly above a pile of old tattered clothes. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, but I'm thinking whoever used to own this place may have let themselves out, to put it mildly. I guess they didn't think to kick aside the clothes to see if there were any human remains underneath. Or maybe they just didn't want to know the answer. Truly a sad situation all around. Strange and mysterious sounds are coming from a hole in the ground that sounds like a hidden entrance to another world. These scary noises sound like some kind of evil ocean and makes me wonder if water is nearby. With that said, I did notice that these strange noises were caught on camera during a windy day. So I'm hoping this is actually just wind rushing through some kind of construction tunnel for a pipe or something, and not a scary, hissing creature. A YouTuber named Deep South Bama with Mr. Tom wakes up at 3 a.m. after, in his words, 
he heard some deep thuds around his house. When he goes outside, he sees strange activity around the flagpole in his local graveyard. These bouncing balls of light streak across the sky without a sound or any clue as to what they are. Sometimes they are dim and sometimes they are much brighter. Somebody said that they could be bats, but I noticed the lights always seem to stay at about the height of a person. It can't be flashlights because they keep going out after a second. It's impossible to tell what it is from this distance, and I don't think he wants to get any closer. Years ago, everyone was talking about a possible witch sighting on the side of the road in India that went viral. Now a second scary video is making rounds, this one possibly taken from around the same area. An older traveler with a cane appears to be walking down the middle of the road at night in bright white robes. As the driver gets closer, he is surprised to find the strange man is taking steps, but not moving forward almost like a ghost. Tell me what they are saying here, because they sound excited and I would really like to know what their real reaction to a ghost sighting was. <laughs> then the strange figure begins to walk backwards in slow, jerky movements, without so much as even looking behind him once. This is probably one of their friends, but if they actually caught a real ghost on camera, like they think they have, then I guess the paranormal apparition would have no reason to fear cars. And after all, the worst has already happened, and now this feeble ghost is forever forced to explore the haunted road where potentially its life came to pass. A person thinks they see something strange dash in front of their car late at night on a dark road. A playback of the tape has their suspicions confirmed by a totally bizarre dash cam encounter caught on video. A fleeting figure standing under a street lamp runs out and disappears way too fast to be a human. He claims this video is unexplainable paranormal evidence, but I suspect it might simply be a trick of the light, not exactly a lens flare flare per se, because there is no sunlight to reflect, or maybe that is the right term, but you know what I mean. Basically a ray of light bending towards him to create the illusion of a phantom ghost. So while there is definitely a light anomaly, I'm not exactly sure it's paranormal. Tell me what you think he's caught on tape, because it might be a reflection and nothing more. A Twitch streamer named Jake is visiting another country and enjoying the downtown nightlife. It's getting really late and he's about to turn in when two girls he's never seen before walk up with huge smiles and start dancing with him. They're acting like they've known Jake for a long time while this guy in grey lurks in the background. Jake doesn't mind the attention at first, but he grows progressively more confused until one of them speaks in English so as not to alert the man nearby. This is behind You can see he's staring really hard at the women with a serious expression. He's also standing way too close and looks to be within grabbing distance. When he looks over at them again, they try to play it cool by jumping up and down in fake excitement and acting like they don't even notice him. In reality, they are literally too scared to make eye contact with him and they're turning to Jake for help. Jake hangs around for another few minutes until the man wanders off. The girls hug each other out of relief and quickly dart the other way. I really hope this man had second thoughts about whatever he was going to do, but something tells me he wandered off to find an easier target. This kind of video really shouldn't exist anywhere in this day and age, but sadly people like this creeper are still out doing weirdly bizarre things like this. Kudos to Jake for stepping in and putting a stop to it here. If you have a chance to visit a former institute, don't. Published by Steve Ronan in October of 2021, this pair of scary videos will send you running for the hills. In the first video, Ronan talks about how Lechtworth is where unethical testing was done on patients. When journalists exposed this, the place was shut down. As he's putting on some gear later, he hears someone near. He thinks it's Mo. Mo? 
Another sound is heard and it doesn't seem to be the crew. Okay, someone else has to come with me because I legit heard something. What the f You okay? Okay, that wasn't me. They think it came from an adjacent room. The paranormal activity ramps up when one of the crew thinks he saw a person. They are later walking down a hallway when a door either opens or closes behind them. Like someone or something walking outside. Oh, oh, f off. They catch the sound on two separate cameras. Walking outside. As they continue moving through Lectware, the sound like a rock being thrown occurs to their left. What's this door? What the f? They then attempt to open the doors ahead, and something shuts the door on one of them. Nothing in here. What was that? What? There's something that shut the f***ing door on me. It literally just shut the f***. There's someone behind the door. There's someone actually behind the f***ing door. They pry the door open again to see if there's someone inside, but it's an empty room. As they're wondering if someone fled through the window, their answer arrives in the form of the door slamming shut. What the f Yo! It's hard. It won't open and they call out for Mo to push from the other side. Mo manages to kick the door open and they're all relieved to be out of that room. They then talk to the spirits, asking them to come in contact again, and the spirits answer in kind. If that was your way of making contact with us, can you do it again? Yo! They race down the hallway, fleeing for their lives, but before they do, they look in this room one more time, finding it empty again. Something starts banging loudly and repeatedly in the dark hallway. Go through the window, the bushes are rumbling too. Still nothing to be seen. As they're heading to the stairs toward the creepy basement, a creaky door is heard opening and closing. It's gonna take us to the basement. Yo. What was that? In the team's second video, they explore the basement, which they soon discover is just as creepy as the floor above. They attempt to speak with the demons using a phone EVP. As they're communicating, another bang is heard behind them. Are you angry right now? <laughs> when they start challenging the demons to slam a door shut, things get a little crazy. Claiming he saw the door shake a little. Like two minutes. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, guys, guys. It just moved. Mo soon starts to get woozy. Oh, I'm feeling weird, though. Yeah. Mo? Mo? Right. I'm feeling lightheaded. Dude, your face got all pale. Pale face, Mo says he feels dizzy and lightheaded and so sits down for a moment. They're heading down the stairs when Mo gets dizzy again and falls to the ground. Later, he is not being himself and becomes aggressive with the rest of the crew. Where is he? I don't know, man. Just be careful. He's not himself. Has Mo become possessed? Guess that's what happens when you start challenging demons. It's 1.40 in the morning and two friends are cruising down a dark road, completely unable to see what's on the other side. They both think that they spot movement in the trees, and having nothing better to do, they pull over and shine their headlights into the area. Nothing happens for some time, and then a figure slowly emerges from the dry brush. One of them says that they think this is a witch, and I agree that could be a possibility. They are dressed in all black and hunched over holding what appears to be a walking stick. If this is not fake and that's not a third friend, then I can't imagine what anybody would be doing walking in complete darkness all alone, especially so late at night. A YouTuber named Craig Wilson was doing some home repairs when he noticed a small hole in his backyard. 
He opened it up a little more and was shocked at what he found waiting down below. This hole goes down, down, down to a giant cavern. It's a gigantic earthen cavern extending a full 16 feet straight down. Craig wonders out loud if this was natural or man-made. As he continues to videotape from a dizzying height, Craig quickly had the hole filled the next day, but he'll never forget about the huge underground threat that was once threatening his home. He and his wife think that it was probably a well about 60 or 70 years ago, but they aren't positive. I'm just relieved that the hole didn't widen while he was standing over the edge. A paranormal explorer from Turkey named Ansari is documenting a haunted tunnel that's too scary for him to get very far. Behind him, an eerie red ring radiates with an evil force. He knows he has to get out quick or else he will succumb to its terrifying effects, but as he creeps near the entrance, the haunted tunnel takes a final swipe at him. And Zari's had enough and decides to block off the tunnel to contain whatever evil is inside. But it seems as though whatever scary thing he's caught on tape has other plans. <laughs> It seems like the rock could have simply fallen over here, but it's very heavy and shouldn't tip over so easily. It's hard to say if it was pushed over by a ghost or simply off balance to begin with. So let me know if you think this video is paranormal or not. As for why only a small portion of the tunnel would be glowing red like that, I have no idea. This homeowner in Montgomery, Texas catches a stranger in distress on their doorbell cam. It's about 3 in the morning when a woman frantically rings the bell at the Sunrise Ranch subdivision. Look again and you'll notice what could be shackles dangling from both of her arms, suggesting this person could have been taken captive and recently freed themselves. The sheriff's department is worried that this woman may have been running for her life and trying to get help from the nearest home. Police released this video in August of 2018 hoping for anonymous tips, but so far no one has come forward with any explanation. As for who this woman is or what happened to her on that fateful night, no one can say for sure. Another structure that's prime real estate for a haunting? Hospitals. Posted to YouTube by Ogden Paranormal in September of 2019, the group of paranormal investigators explores Old 2L Hospital, one of Utah's most haunted places. Samuel Lee built the structure as a resident in 1873. His family lived there until 1913, after which it was remodeled into a home for the elderly and those with special needs. Some called it the County Poor House. The old 2L hospital closed down in 2000, with half of it serving as an elderly care unit, while the other half serves as Asylum 49. Although Anderson was skeptical about the site's paranormal activity at first, his research into the hospital prompted him and his wife to contact paranormal researchers to investigate the site in 2007. Upon exploring the building, the UGO, or Utah Ghost Organization, documented thousands of EVPs and captured pictures and video footage of mists, apparitions, shadows, orbs, and other seemingly paranormal activity. Now, the 2L Hospital is the scene of private ghost searches twice a year, from January to July. So what sort of spirits haunt this hospital? The nurse spirit, Maria, is said to guard a spiritual portal in the hospital that is believed to lead to another world. Another ghost that haunts the hospital goes by the name of Wes. This patient appears scared and confused, as it's said that the real Wes had Alzheimer's at the time of his passing. 
Ghost West haunts the room that he stayed when he was alive, as well as the nearby hallway. A medium tried to assist West in crossing over, but was hindered by some dark entity that always remains close by. With this background in mind, without further ado, let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Ogden writes, We've investigated here a few times in the past and captured incredible evidence, but our last visit scared us so bad that we ended up leaving early. Now we return to this location to face whoever or whatever ran us out of the building all those years ago. This time, the group's visit includes light anomalies, particularly the entire operating room lighting up and a strange light appearing in the nursery. Strange sounds are heard at 10 minutes 13 seconds and 10 minutes 15 seconds. Where you at, Wes? Where you at, Wes? And all the mannequins set up around the hospital don't help one bit. Creepiness is given an edge by those inert bodies. At around 17 minutes 37 seconds as well, it looks as if a foot appears on camera in the bottom left corner. Disembodied voices go unexplained. The entire video makes you wonder if this is paranormal's resting place. The roads in Guwahati, India are apparently haunted. Just ask Abinash Kishore, aka The Mind Hunter. He pulls up behind a vehicle with an extreme background story that I'll get into in just a second. First, try to translate what he says about this truck, and then I'll tell you what I was able to research. Guys, Huri Takota Takota, Hood Bisari Takota Takota, Akon Hanmukot Kiga de Habasene, Robahal get the quite years. Kaikanola Baguadia. Okay, so get this. I did some deep digging and found out that this truck is actually the only hearse service offered in the area before this company came to be. People used to carry the departed to the nearest graveyard. As an extra bonus, on this blog post, I found information on three extremely creepy but also saddening comments requesting the service as soon as possible. That means within this metal container could be someone passed away. So when he finds not one, but two of these vehicles lined up in the middle of nowhere, he knows that something really bad must have happened, and he better not stick around for long. Unfortunately for him, the time to leave safely has already passed. The mind hunter's assistant gets scared and drives off, but the mind hunter will have none of it and makes him return. There is another brief sighting until the figure fades away into darkness. This alleged ghost sighting caught on video could simply be a third member of the group, but since it happens not far from where they found the abandoned vehicles that could have had passed away people inside, it could be real. A ghost hunting channel in India called Yakayatha knows of a haunted railway where plenty of lives have been lost and therefore plenty of paranormal evidence to be found. K2 meter in hand, they walk down the paranormal path and wait for a sign. Occasionally they feel watched and stop to scan the horizon but nothing is there. Soon a general feeling of unease becomes so unbearable that they stop to put down the K2 meter. They know a life was lost here and a ghost is nearby. They can feel it. And then... The ghost hunters aren't surprised to see the K2 meter spike hard for the very first time all night. They stand around for a long time staring into the darkness and getting nothing on camera. But just when they're about to give up... Kabir bhai, samne dekho. Kahan pe? Jassi bhai. 
They go a few steps forward but stop when they realize the ghost has disappeared, or at least that's what they claim. They should have kept running if they wanted to prove it really was a ghost, but they were so creeped out by that point that maybe they didn't want to. It's easy to say that this is fake because they don't go forward far enough, but you never know how you'd react until you're the one having a ghost sighting. This paranormal ghost sighting video could be real. A real demon sighting is caught on camera according to an uploader named Esoteric Boy. A dark shadow haunting his room. He lightens the photo to reveal a tall mysterious figure with horns. Strangest of all, the alleged demon has a goat-like face and no reflection in the mirror, considering he has editing software. I think this could possibly be photoshopped. But if not, then it's time never to go into the room again. A quarrel with a poltergeist has only one outcome, you lose. Published by Scary Desk in September of 2021, the computer shop owner is battling for his life. The man is seen on an upper balcony of his shop at night. It sounds like it's raining. He puts his hood on and heads back toward his shop, but the minute he steps toward the door, he is thrown onto his back, falling onto the ground. You see he appears to have been pushed by a shadowy force. A young man runs to his aid from an adjacent office. As the man points in fear, what did he see? The young man looks inside but finds nothing. He then helps the owner limp to safety. What did this to this poor man? And is it the end of it? Or is it just the beginning? Britton Smith is hanging around her door room when she notices something is apparently laying in bed with her. An invisible force appears to be pressing up and down on the flowery design of her covers, right before her very eyes. I will admit that it's hard to tell if something is on top of the covers or simply underneath, in which case it could be anything and not necessarily paranormal. Britton Smith describes this as a ghost in her dorm room, but I'd like to know if you agree with her or not. Located in South Carolina, YouTuber Mo Sarji claims that this is the original Crybaby Bridge. Mo finds he isn't the first to check it out and won't be the last. I just found a Ouija board on the crybaby bridge. What? It's wet. That is crazy. I just found a Ouija board. After finding this homemade Ouija board, a strange truck starts stalking Mo and his team. Yeah, that's the same truck. Oh, stop. You need to stop. Oh, he's coming back. They return to their investigation, but after asking too many questions, they're met with a vice grip. Did you love your husband? Whoa. Ah, ah, what the f is that? <coughs> what the f is that? Grab my neck. <coughs> Grab your neck? <coughs> Did the female ghost react negatively to this question? As they consider leaving, they sense a presence on the bridge. I, I felt something walking over here, bro. I guess it's time to go. I believe Mo pushed the crybaby bridge ghost too far. She didn't like his nosiness, and she took it out on him. He is lucky he didn't become the next ghost to haunt this place. An unidentified aerial phenomena, also known as a UAP, was captured at Dreamland in Dripping Springs, Texas, and shared by Redditor My Brian on Acid. Recording the alien spaceship? Yeah, it's like not moving at all. The uploader says another source reported on this same sighting. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away. It's not moving at all. Oh, let's see if it's up there after we play. 
The post the Redditor is referring to was captured by someone walking their dog who believed the UAP to be a planet, but once they looked at it through their binoculars, they noticed a dark center and a haze around the object. In the comments, Redditor Cronin Siglos appeared to crack the code, writing that it's a high-altitude balloon called an HBAL-604. After seeing one of these, I have to agree. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away. It's not moving at all. What is this blue sphere spinning in the sky? Shared by YouTuber Arte Morbid, this video was captured by Juanjito Juan in Valle Hermoso, Mexico. The footage was taken at around 2.30 in the morning. Up close, the unidentified flying object looks like this. It was drifting over this man's house for around 30 minutes before it vanished. It certainly doesn't look like anything identifiable to me. But is it extraterrestrial? I do think the increased activity in this area might indicate something mysterious is going on. A YouTuber named Lou Rock is live streaming from a supposedly haunted location known only as the Yellow House. He and his friend are cautiously poking around the abandoned building when a faint noise sends them running directly into a large room to investigate. The room is bare except for an inordinate number of gnarled clothes hangers in the closet, which begin twisting in unison, almost as if in acknowledgement of their presence. There's not a window open in here. Wow. This is on live stream, so you can see for yourself at no point did they touch the hangers. I think the hangers really are being moved by an unseen force based on what I'm about to show you next. As you can see from this video, there is no wind moving the blinds or curtains at all. So it couldn't have been a draft moving the hangers. They continue to find more weird miscellaneous objects scattered around the house, including a rope tied to a ripped kid's shoe. It looks like somebody was hung up by their feet. Giant holes have been punched into the wall of this room, either from destructive teens or from the previous house owner during an aggressive fit of rage. Just as they are sensing something deeply wrong with the kitchen, something brings them back into the room with blown out walls. Yeah, me too. They are genuinely creeped out by now and don't make it much further before the sound returns again. Alright, we're out of here. At this point, Lou Rock wisely decides to leave before he becomes the Yellow House's next permanent resident. A YouTuber named Sand General captures the moving shadow of a mysterious creature on tape in the Phoenix Desert late at night. He and his friend are cautiously driving down a dark and spooky country road when their dog starts making low whining noises that they've never heard before. Sand General stops the car and aims his phone camera. This bizarre encounter with an unknown creature is what he catches on video. A roaming shadow that stands out from the scenery is caught mysteriously moving from left to right. It looks like the rather large outline of some kind of desert monster waiting to ambush them. And so they turn around and get out of there fast, which is the right plan in my opinion. I would suggest that this large shadow figure is video editing, except listen to the dog. It's genuinely terrified and trying to tell them that they should be scared too. This poltergeist is cooking up something scary. A YouTuber's security camera captured his kitchen coming to life.
Moments later, this happened. And then... Not satisfied with the first couple forks, the poltergeist gets one last in for good measure. I'm guessing this poltergeist is either an angry cook or that he's a foodie who's lost his appetite in the afterlife. The Three Haunted Explorers is the name of a paranormal YouTube channel that doesn't need to go exploring very far to find something spooky. That's because a scary ghost is already haunting their room, or so they claim, and this is the best paranormal evidence they've caught on camera so far. They set up a night vision camera. Soon they've caught the ghost moving stuff like cabinet drawers. Part of the drawers aren't shown, so the ghost hunters might be moving it off camera. But just when I was starting to doubt whether this scary video was real, more objects begin moving on their own. On a table behind them, caught on camera is the reflection of a possible ghost moving across the surface. They put everything back in place and wait. That's when the ghost knocks all of the objects over once again by moving a chair. The swivel chair continues to move on its own as if a ghost is pushing it. At 33 seconds, a mysterious shadow even walks in front of the camera. A ghost. The paranormal explorers would later say, although it could have belonged to them. Stuff keeps falling over by itself, which is creepy, but they could be crawling across the floor to fake the paranormal activity. I hope they make more creepy follow-up videos from a better angle to show us more of the room when it happens. When walking alone in the wilderness, you generally don't want to run into anyone at all, let alone someone perched in a place you'd least expect them. That's exactly what happened to this individual, whose footage was posted to YouTube in August of 2014. The person appears to be walking in a rather remote forested area. Ahead stands a blocked stone tunnel, and sitting atop the concrete is someone dressed in a white shirt facing the tunnel's interior. What are they doing there, and why? Reaching this depth of the forest, or that tunnel itself, are quite difficult tasks. The cameraman doesn't wait to find out, and probably rightly so. He backs away slowly, before turning around and moving quickly out of there. Some locals in the comments insist to never approach that area, saying, This is really serious. Never go. I gotta agree. Better safe than sorry. Michael is in the middle of making a rather innocent YouTube video when something from another world crosses over directly behind him. Michael immediately gets up to inspect the toy set, and you can clearly see that there was no string attached. A string would show up easily against the dark wood of this table, and there is also a Coca-Cola can directly in the path of where a string would theoretically have to be. In fact, watch again and you'll clearly see that Michael moves directly in front of the toy and would have totally gotten in the way of a string. The blocks themselves look to be positioned relatively secure at the bottom of a wire band, but I guess they could have somehow fallen on their own. Published by Scott Walters in February of 2015, this video again shows that drones over common land or private property are an annoyance to most and a threat to others. Walters explains the precursor to the man's anger in his description. Guy started yelling at me. Asked if I had a permit to fly at a kid's park. I asked if he was joking. He said he wasn't. So I told him I needed to land. This is where the video started. After asking again if the operator has a permit to be on a children's playground, the man pushes the drone out of his face. He and the operator exchange words, with the operator telling the man to mind his own business. Don't touch my stuff. Do you have a permit to be on a children's playground? You don't need one. Right in my face. You're the one who got in my face, dude. You're in front of my children. We just walked over here. I understand. I have Mind your own business. Don't come question anybody about their stuff. And the man stating that they're on public property. The argument quickly escalates as anger takes hold. 
Even as the man turns to leave with his child, the operator continues to shout at him. Those on the aggressive man's side, like Demo Man, said rightly that the drone operator could be liable if his aircraft fell down or flew into a child's head, and others noted that the man was leaving. While the drone operator continued to yell and provoke, those on the operator's side, like Eric Mendez, said that no one is entitled to privacy in the public domain, while others noted that drone operators are often attacked for something that's just a hobby. Whose side are you on? This creepy video is two seconds long, and one of the scariest creature sightings ever caught on camera. It's not the way it looks so much as the way it approaches, almost like it's glad to see you. That makes it all the more terrifying. If there's a longer version, I'm not sure I'm ready to see it. If there is anyone behind the camera, it might not end well. I hope this is a video of a normal dog with special effects or something. What do you think? This video will definitely creep you out if you like chocolate peanut butter cups. For some reason, this one seems to have some extra ingredients that I'm pretty sure aren't supposed to be there. Oh. Dozens of worms of all different sizes weave in and out of the chocolatey layer. Some of them are so small that they look like specks of peanut butter until they move. I'm not sure how they got in there, but this candy looks pretty old, and it's probably what happens past the expiration date. So I'm not exactly sure it's the manufacturer's fault, but still, if this had happened once, it has probably happened many times before, and maybe somebody else didn't look as closely before taking a bite. Something is haunting this house, or at least that's what David Stenberg thinks based on his dog's Astrid's odd reaction. Sometimes he's fine with going into this bedroom, and sometimes he acts more like this. What, what is the matter? What is the deal? Listen again. There's a really shill scream that makes the dog recoil. I'm already convinced this could be a ghost, but this video is 100% real in my opinion. Based on what I'm about to show you next, I don't care how well you train your dog, there's no way to make him look up at you with a concerned expression and then get surprised. David tries to show Astrid that nothing is there by stepping inside, but Astrid is having none of it. I think his dog is telling him, in no uncertain terms, to get out of there now. Let me know if you agree. Astrid, you're freaking me out. Come here. Come here. An African expedition becomes tense when a group sees a hippo nearby and then lose sight of it. I was hit by it for sure, y'all. I just kept charging, he was, he was feeding it. Hippos are known to overturn boats and other craft, so they have to be careful. Just watch because he charged down this channel there. Just when one of them says it could be nearby, the animal comes out of the water and gives them a surprise. Fortunately, this one looks like a scared juvenile that just wants to get out of there more than anything. If it was a few years older, this video would have probably come to a much more brutal conclusion. YouTuber David DeFranco dramatically descends the stairs into his dingy cement brick basement, saying after four years of wondering what's in that room, it's time. With a cat as his bodyguard, David notes that it's 10.49 p.m. Not sure why you'd choose to explore a hidden room at night, but David's got grit. He notes that he's always wondered what's in this hidden room and that his cat has explored it several times and seen some serious stuff. So David is curious and nervous. It's probably nothing, but you can't help but wonder, he says, using his night vision camera. He moves the piece of plywood, blocking the hole in the wall, out of the way, and he enters. He calls the place creepy before asking hello to no one in particular. 
It looks like another crawl space, but there are some intriguing bits and pieces inside. An old bottle, newspaper, dripping pipe, small plastic containers, comics from the Philadelphia Inquirer date back to April 1st, 2001. So someone has been down in the crawl space not too long ago. David recalls hearing noises coming from the crawl space. While David didn't discover anything epic beneath his home, he did at least explore it before moving out. Dominic Marquez of Albuquerque, New Mexico says you're definitely going to believe his ghost sighting caught on CCTV video is real when you see it. Somebody is walking down the street when all of the sudden, they're simply not. Hey, hold on. Ghost. It's That's dog. The person morphs into a floating orb and briefly becomes human again before going back into its second form. And to top off an already bizarre video, this creepy thing happens next. Bro, I'm telling you, there's nobody there. <laughs> The neighbor's rather bright motion detector lights turn on when the ghost walks by. Nothing's there. If it was a CCTV glitch on Dominic's camera, then why would motion lights go on across the street? It looks like he was right about me believing this paranormal video is real. A YouTuber named Jake Carlini and his friends all want to experience creepy randonautica moments, so they summon the scariest thing that comes to mind, forest clowns. We're all gonna think about clowns. The app takes some random nodding to a scary location in the woods that creeps them out even in broad daylight. A bird calls overhead, but listen closely, and you'll hear creepy noises coming from deeper in the woods. Do you guys hear that? Circus music, to be precise. I hear circus music. Oh my god. It's not like an ice cream truck would be driving out here, so there's no reason for scary sounds to be playing in the middle of the woods. They leave before they can get a clown sighting on video, but maybe they'll go exploring there again one day. A Facebook user in Tolompantla, Mexico is walking down the street when he discovers a missing section of a wall and takes a look inside. The hollow dungeon-like area is filled with what appears to be stacks of caskets. Whether the caskets were filled or not is anyone's guess, but the point is why would this area be sealed away underneath a highway overpass? Also why was this section of wall broken? Maybe it broke from the inside by someone trying to free themselves. Who knows what other secrets could be hidden under there. This footage was reportedly taken on a flight somewhere over Zambia. A person is casually recording out their window when a giant humanoid creature starts to materialize in the distance. The creature seems to keep pace and ride alongside them for a moment before disengaging and twisting away. The obvious answer to this is CGI. If it's not CGI, however, then what this creature could be is anyone's guess. A man makes his way down the street without any clue as to the danger that's about to come straight his way. Everything looks as ordinary as possible. Just another day on Stoke Newington High Street in London. There's no possible way you can predict what's going to happen next in this video. It's way too random. So even if you can tell me what direction the thread is about to come from, then I will be satisfied. He makes it past this cafe at 10 seconds, and literally one second later the entire roof comes tumbling down in a choking cloud of dust and jagged debris. Bricks litter the street just a few steps from where he just was. If he had done anything besides walk on by, like tying his shoes or looking in the window, then he would have been struck down on the spot with no hope of surviving. I mean, it really couldn't get any closer. The heel of his foot is literally still in the shot as the bricks begin to tumble. Only a psychic could have ever guessed the way this video ends. A YouTuber named Deji has a creepy new neighbor. 
who has been acting strange ever since they first moved in not too long ago. Despite having a very private, gated entrance, the neighbor actually sneaks over his wall and says hello as if this behavior was normal. Are you, is it, are you actually for real? I mean, this is the stop. She says something about wanting to see his dog, but Deji quickly interrupts to set his neighbor straight. I don't understand what she says at the end while reaching out to him, so let me know if you can make it out. Yeah, cool, like cool, yeah, dog, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Uh, go, no. back, go back the way you can. Deji? That, no. Go, go back the way you can. Overall, it's hard to tell if she is socially awkward at times or mentally unstable. Either way, Deji sends the neighbor climbing back over his wall. I think he handled the situation appropriately, but let me know what you think. Ready for some peekaboo with a little more boo? Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit by Leo Creations. this redditor's video was allegedly filmed at an abandoned house. The footage shows a man exiting his house at around 3 in the morning. According to a digital clock on the wall, dogs are barking outside. He zooms in on a row of houses on the opposite end of a gated area. For a moment, everything is quiet, ordinary, until it isn't. Entonces, a ver qué pasa. Se ve todo muy tranquilo, la verdad. No se ve nada anormal. Ah. Mija. A creepy, dark figure peeks out from around the corner of a white house. You can see its head vividly, peeking out before pulling back. He does this twice like he's playing an evil game of peekaboo. What is this creature? And do you want to play? A YouTuber named SPRT Life is going to investigate some train tracks that are rumored to be haunted by an inhuman creature. The tracks are reportedly hard to cross and very narrow. Numerous people are said to have been run over or fallen to their doom. They sneak past a fence and it isn't long before they hear strange noises from an unseen beast. They soon find a set of tracks elevated high off the ground. The bottom is pitch black and they can't even see how high up they are. One of them gets a little too bold and goes out a long distance. No, we're not out that far. No, if you look down, you're out that far, you'll die. Then, as if right on time, the worst equipment malfunction possible occurs. Oh my god. Alex, my light won't come back on. Suspended high above ground in total darkness, this YouTuber hears a train horn. There's a train coming. There's a train. Get your boots. Get your boots, Tyler. The group of friends now blindly races ahead, desperately trying not to fall off the tracks or get run over. Finally, with the track fast approaching, they are forced to jump. As you can see here, they barely make it out alive as the train passes overhead. Fortunately, they had cleared most of the track, and it was only about a 5 foot drop instead of 30. The only thing that saved them that night was their own speed. As for what caused their flashlights to turn off, the group has little doubt that it was the very same creature that the legend spoke of. This solo ghost hunt turned up some mysterious proofs. Published by Make You Right in February of 2022, the ghost hunter scary video has the trifecta, mist orbs and voices. While walking along a dirt path at night in the forest, a strange mist moves in. It's the unusual shape and movement of the mist that makes it so eerie, like a spirit is swooping in. A round orb seems to be flying below it in tandem. The YouTuber says he didn't see it at the time he was filming. I didn't see that at the time on the camera at all. But it does go by fast. The a second video filmed on the same night appears to have captured a disembodied voice. The voice murmurs and this time the YouTuber hears it in the moment. I have to look that back on the camera. The f is it? It does not sound like his voice, so whose is it? 
What do you make of this pair of videos? Looks like a successful ghost hunt requiring further investigation. Morgan Adams is a popular YouTuber who doesn't ordinarily focus on paranormal contents at all. So when she recently suspected that her house was haunted, you know I had to take a look. Let's go over the evidence and see if her suspicions are correct. She claims to hear tapping and scratching on the walls, which could be an animal, but then there's whispers too. When this happens, she uses Snapchat and almost always detects a second face nearby. She has named the spirit Angie and it seems to have become quite attached. Angie often responds to her own name. Angie. Oh my god. Angie, you have a lot of new friends that would like to say hi. Oh my god. Though Snapchat could be mistaking the shelf behind her for a winking face and these two objects on the wall for eyes, Angie typically lurks around the corner of the house reserved for overnight visitors. Coincidentally, the same area where her dog Ollie absolutely refuses to go. Even with the promise of a treat, Ollie will only allow himself to go so far before he refuses to budge. Some dogs have trouble keeping their balance on hardwood floors and can actually develop a fear of them over time. I thought that could be Ollie's deal because he puts one paw on the wood and stops at 9 minutes and 8 seconds, but at 8 minutes and 52 seconds he has no problem walking on the same type of floor, so that can't be why. I think Morgan Adams could be giving a verbal command for Ollie to sit when she says okay at 9 minutes and 8 seconds. You tell me if Ollie is doing a trick or if he senses something and is too nervous to go forward. <gasps> come on. Okay. Come on. I don't think it's fake because then she tells him to come on and he still won't move. And when Morgan gets to the end of the hall, she hears a noise and shudders. <sighs> Plus, Ollie isn't the only animal acting weird. Her cat will freeze at the door like someone is on the other side and Morgan even hears knocking sometimes. Cut it out right now. Stop! There's never anything there and yet the cat stares at the wall as if something has its attention. Literally, I'm gonna freak out if you don't stop. So, oh my god, oh my god, there's orbs, literally. An orb of light also flies in the direction that her cat is staring. Odd indeed. Oh, and there's also this strange Snapchat photo taken in the middle of the night. It could be something photoshopped, but I see something more to it. To the left of the shadow person, I see a face on the wall and another peeking out from behind the covers. It almost looks like the exact same from a photo taken at the mountain pass where Angie the spirit first followed Morgan home. And if you're wondering where Angie is in the photo, check out Morgan's shoulder. The dark hair is not hers. Finally, one night, her dad lets it slip that the property was built near an old burial ground. Tell me if you think he is telling the truth here or not. Do you think our house is haunted? Nope. The way he pauses and looks away makes me think he could have been trying to avoid saying anything that could make his daughter worry any more than she already has been. So is all of this real or fake? I'm 50-50 on this one, so your opinions will help me decide. Some friends are enjoying the beach in Malaysia. When their parents grow concerned at the sight of something in the ocean, I assume they're shouting for them to come out of the water. This low and wide wave doesn't look like much, but the parents immediately know what it is and the power it holds. They manage not to get taken out to sea, but they still do get slammed by the powerful waves. Look how the rushing water pushes this car back like it weighs nothing, and you'll get a feel of its full force. Any of these people could have been pinned underwater for far longer than they could have held their breath had their parents not warned them in time. This is a witch's abode, and even in the afterlife she has not left. Dennis from YouTube channel Dark Life is paying the haunted house a visit in this scary video. While taking some photographs in this room, he sees something in the mirror that gives him pause. He explains what he saw. Это мне реально сейчас не показалось. В зеркале в том проходе кто-то стоял вот там. This is what he actually captured on camera. 
Well, it does appear to be the profile of a person. It could also simply be shadows falling in a perturbing manner. But later, this happens. <laughs> What do you see here? Again, I feel like this could just be pareidolia. The way the light and shadows fall is conjuring up images that aren't really there. Or are they? It does look like a shadow is reaching out to touch Dennis at this point. When you enter a graveyard, you may not leave alone. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Scream Gaming writes, This was caught in a cemetery when we were leaving. All four of us got chills at the time, and it felt like something left with us. In the short clip, the group is heading out of the driveway of the cemetery when you see a figure on the side of the road. According to the Redditor, they caught this creepy thing on video where in reality there was nothing, just grass and a telephone pole. Do you see it? Redditor Treadway 0311 does writing. There definitely was something there and then gone. But what was it? And where did it go? Do mirrors reflect reality? Or could they be portals to another world? Published by Augustina Devia in July of 2021, this creepy clip has me wondering if this is real or an optical illusion. In the video, Augustina is speaking with some guitarists on a video chat platform called Omegle. As she's chatting with the guys, something unnerving is happening in the mirror behind her. Take a closer look. The closet mirror reflects a dark shape sitting on Augustina's bed. You can also see a dark shape over her shoulder on her bed. You'd assume this was the thing being reflected, only the shape in the mirror is not an accurate reflection of the object on the bed. The item on her bed, which appears to be a piece of clothing lying on its side, doesn't match the object in the mirror, which is sat up and alert. Is the object in the mirror actually out of view behind her? But then again, if that's the case, why isn't the object on the bed positioned sideways, reflected at all? Is this an optical illusion? The more you stare at this, the less sense it makes. It's midnight when Sylvia Slarb gets an iPhone notification that someone is at her door. She looks out the window and doesn't see anything, so she goes back to sleep. The next morning, she remembers the incident and quickly checks her phone. This weird shining orb is what her doorbell cam automatically recorded on that night. I have no logical explanation for this aside from a possible insect, but as far as I know, a bug this small and this far away should not be able to trip the sensor. Therefore, I cannot exclude the paranormal as well. There's a poltergeist afoot in this abandoned house. YouTuber Paranormal Mai investigates, and he soon discovers why the home has been abandoned. <laughs> The falling of the tray at the beginning would have been enough to send me packing, but the chair slamming sideways at the end has me absolutely convinced that there's something here that doesn't want us here. I think we should show ourselves out. The world is filled with lost radio signals from long ago. One of these many mystery stations was this broadcast from East Germany that started in the 1970s. We still don't know what it was, only that it sounded like it could drive a person to madness if they listened for long enough. Every so often, the overwhelming wall of noise would give way to a group of men singing in twisted voices. Maybe it's just me, but this almost sounds like some kind of ancient ritual or chant. The broadcast abruptly stopped in 1990 after about 20 years. Give me your best guess as to what this broadcast was used for, because I haven't the slightest clue. 
This scary home CCTV video shows why you should never leave your cooking unattended. In less than a minute, their entire countertop is covered in flames. The wife makes the mistake of trying to grab the flaming pot barehanded to put it in the oven and only sends a cascade of flames to the floor. But it's the husband who makes the ultimate mistake. He throws water on the flames, which is not what you do in a grease fire because this only makes the grease splash and spread the flames around. Everyone is okay and the fire goes out, but this method could have seriously burnt the house down. From what I've read, he could have put something large over the fire. Smothering it deprives the flames of oxygen and makes them go out. That fire was already really big though, so I don't know what he could have covered it with. To me, this video is a good example of why you should always have a fire extinguisher somewhere in your house and make sure you have it inspected from time to time to make sure it works. When something terrifying like this happens and you need it most, have you ever been afraid of your own shadow? What if you know the animated shadow you're seeing is not yours at all? YouTuber Average American 2019 caught the shadow person on video in August of 2018 as he's descending the stairs of this building. A distinctive shadow is seen on the wall, passing in the opposite direction. Then as they descend a further stairwell, a second shadow person appears again. The man recording the footage notices the shadow person in real time. Luckily he is with friends, so he can simply laugh off the incident. I'm guessing he'd feel differently if he was alone in this encounter. In paranormal lore, shadow people are considered by many to be masses of living humanoid figures. Paranormalists believe they are the presence of a spirit or other entity. While some think shadow people are creatures of evil intent, others consider them neutral or even helpful extra-dimensional beings. Whatever you think they are, this video will surely make you afraid of the dark. A YouTuber named Nick makes it clear from the beginning that he does not believe in Bloody Mary in the slightest. He turns the lights off and then three times in a row he sarcastically says, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. See guys, like I said. Before he has a chance to finish his sentence, the figure touches him and he falls to the floor. If this was real, exactly how this video was recorded or uploaded remains a mystery as it looks like Nick might not have pulled through. This soccer match appears to be interrupted by a creature from another dimension. One team is about to go for a penalty kick when a strange white figure literally runs through everyone in the crowd without slowing down. I heard that this kind of effect could be a camera malfunction, but since everyone on the field is standing still, then I don't understand how this kind of glitch can happen. If someone has an explanation for this situation, then please let me know, because this definitely looks like it could be some sort of transparent creature to me. Michael Pomeroy owns a shop in Plymouth, England called Something Different, and in this shop is a tall Mickey Mouse doll that is quite different indeed. Michael opens the shop one day to find Mickey Mouse laying face down well over a foot away from its usual spot in a corner. When Michael checks the camera, he is surprised to find the haunted Mickey Mouse toy literally moving on its own. At first I thought it was thrown by someone off camera, but here you can see how it clearly takes a few running steps forward before collapsing. Let me know if you can see it. I have no idea how this could have been faked besides computer effects, but the way the doll moves looks very real to me. This one is the thing nightmares are made of. Published in October of 2014, the footage begins with a vehicle driving down a dark road at night. After a bit of driving, he comes across a vehicle with its emergency brakes on in the middle of the road. The driver goes around this vehicle, but not much further. He has to slow down again, as there's a man with a baby stroller wandering down the road. He comes closer and closer. For some reason, the driver starts laughing. He puts the car into reverse. 
I'm not sure if laughing would be my first reaction, or any reaction for that matter, but he keeps backing up slowly as the man with his baby stroller continues to pursue. Then he starts running at them. He's closing in, but the driver starts reversing faster. Finally, he loses the creep as everyone in the comments section of this video is asking, why? Why is this man pushing a baby stroller? Why down the middle of the road? Why late at night? Some in the comments were also a bit concerned. Savannah Rose wrote, What if he had a kid in there? Well, John Garza posted a theory. They are trying to rob you. Seen this in Corpus Christi, Texas. Whether this baby stroller man was trying to rob anyone or not, one thing's for certain, he should get another tactic. The Redwood Fisherman catches something that looks like it would make you catch something if you were to touch it. He describes this strange and mysterious sea creature as nothing more than a pink worm thing. Nobody knows what to do when the bloated monster squirms off the rocks all by itself and begins crawling across the floor in hypnotic caterpillar-like motions. Look at its mouth here at 3 minutes and 43 seconds. What does it even eat? Whatever this is, I would say that it's about the size of a grown man's foot, judging from this angle taken at 3 minutes and 5 seconds, which isn't exactly humongous, but when something looks like this, I don't care how big or small it is, that's absolutely terrifying. So let's recap, a creepy pink larva that can live on sea and land and apparently just crawls away on its own. Yeah, I'm not sleeping. Let me know what this creature is so I can stop thinking about it. Two friends are playing around with a camera in an old basement. I won't even tell you what to look for. Just watch and see if you can find anything out of the ordinary. Bottoms down and time go, okay. Now we're gonna do some weight lifting. Here it is again if you missed it. Let me know if you saw this supposed shadow person on the first try. I will admit that you have really good eyes if you did. If this video is real and not just someone who is dressed up, then this is definitely one of those videos that makes you wonder what other possibly paranormal events have gone on right in front of you without noticing. A YouTuber named Cup Stewart lives on the cusp of the rainforest in Indonesia. Tonight he is investigating rumors of a small creature haunting the woods to see if it's real. He goes exploring where the creature was last seen and lays a trap. After a while, something with a white face and long hair comes out of the forest and lowers into the cage. From the woods approaches a tall figure, a man rumored to live isolated from the rest of the island. He subdues one of them, and while Cup Stewart is checking on the condition of his friend, the stranger lets his pet humanoid creature free from its cage and runs extremely fast out of sight. This video has over 8 million views and about half the people think it really happened. I honestly can't say I agree. For one, the creature pretty obviously looks like a puppet in my opinion. I think somebody wearing black is standing behind this cage and moving it around with their arms. They also put the camera really far away from the cage. Almost anyone would put the camera right up there. They keep it far away in my opinion because it probably looks too fake close up. The man running away looks kind of weird, but it could be sped up or special effects. Even though this video is fake in my opinion, I'm including this on the list because it's gone viral and deserves an honest analysis. Tell me if you think it has any possibility of being real. Ever wish you had supernatural powers? Well, this video supposedly shows a Thai girl who discovered she did. When she was driven to anger at a bus stop, the video shot in Thailand begins with a girl smack talking someone as she leaves the bus. She is being held back by a friend who remains quiet. The girl continues to point and exchange some heated words with the driver, who steps down from his post to return fire. 
Spectators watch from the ground, and others hang out of windows to witness the exchange. The shouting match continues in Thai with plenty of pointing and aggression. Another guy tries to intervene. He shouts at the girl and goes to slap her, but before he can, he is thrown back by a supernatural force. The spectators scream. The origin of this force seems to not be the shouting girl, but her silent friend who stood behind her. The quiet girl then steps forward and points her hand out, palm forward, and the bus driver flies up the side of the bus before dropping to the ground. The girl looks at her hands in amazement, as though this is the first time she's realized she has these scary supernatural powers. Everyone is quiet and staring at the girl. She turns in a circle, puts her hands out again, and a table and chairs fly backward. The bus driver yells at her, and she makes him fly into the air again. And even her friend backed away and won't come near her. The video ends with the girl looking down at her hands, collapsing to the ground, shaking and screaming shrilly, while the footage appears all too real, with no strings attached. Many in the YouTube comments call it out as a fake. YouTuber Pei Pina says, I'm Thai, and Thai people like to make dramas with superpowers like this. While well, Jacob Zamet notes, the biggest flaw in this video is the fact that no one else is talking while the argument progresses, letting the main characters in this film be heard as the girl and the guy take turns. He also notes that video cameras or cell phones with video components, and it's unlikely that someone who just levitated would have another go at the person who just did it. All good points. Still a scary and intriguing video. You kind of wish it was real. A number of scary viral Russian 3AM videos uploaded by Rostelman has everyone spooked, including himself. He wants someone to explain this mysterious event. He keeps going through night after night, so let's help him out. This window is taking some serious punishment from an unseen force and at times sounds ready to break. One night he can take it no more and makes one crucial mistake. He invites it inside. I myself would probably get reinforced steel bars installed on that window before opening it, but I guess he was trying to get a better look at whatever it was, and before you say he should have gone outside to see what it was, keep in mind it's late at night and freezing cold in Russia, so I wouldn't be in a hurry to confront this paranormal entity either. YouTubers Laney and Ben regularly document the paranormal activity in their uber haunted home. As they're taking questions from their subscribers, some of the activity happens right behind them. He says, does it feel like a good or a bad spirit and what energy does it give off? I think if there's no threats. Or... Nah, like, it's never touched us or hurt us, like, so I don't think there's anything bad about it. I think, if anything, it might be like a relative because like, it's not harmful to us, so it's not like... First, they notice the paper towel roll. Like, it's never touched us or hurt us, like, so I don't... Lainey seems to hear it move. She looks over her shoulder but doesn't quite catch it in action. Like, so I don't think there's anything bad about it. I think, if anything, it might be like a relative. Then the cupboard door pops open for a second. To us, so it's not like bad in that. Watching the camera, Lainey sees the activity behind her this time. 
I believe Lainey and Ben's home is haunted without question. They have a lot of evidence to back them. I just don't know how they can live with this. A YouTuber named Jessie V and her sister Mandy are constantly hearing strange noises coming from the attic. They would have happily never gone up there if not for their insistent fans who demanded to know the answer. They finally work up enough courage to take a ladder up there. Mandy goes up first and gets a really bad feeling. She's describing the general layout when they catch something that might have followed her back down. In a mirror on the wall is the reflection of a figure that is a quarter of the size of Mandy, whose much larger reflection can be seen right beside it. Whatever this is, it's standing right in front of both of them. Jessie turns the camera to reveal her father standing off to the side, but he is way too tall to be it. Also, this figure lacks any color or detail at all. Only later, when a commenter pointed out the creepy shadow person, did they go back and review the video. No answer was ever provided. A woman was caught disappearing on multiple CCTV cameras at the same time. The incident made the news, and basically nobody is certain what happened. Take a look at these two completely different angles. I can understand a camera malfunction happening once, but the chances of it happening to two separate cameras at the same time is very slim. I don't understand how this could happen, and I'm eager to read your opinions. Do you think that this woman has truly disappeared? A YouTuber named Ponji Petualan is searching for frogs with his friends late at night along with anything else they can find. The team has their head down to look for prey, but at 21 minutes and 4 seconds, Ponji looks up for the briefest of moments and catches this bipedal creature as it sprints away from the light. It happens so fast that they don't even appear to see it at first. It appears to be a pale white and instinctively flees from the light, which makes sense for a nocturnal creature to do. It does not make a sound as it moves, despite being the size of a human and a very close distance away. Kind of this video was harder to find than a PS5 before a school teacher in Swinton, Louisiana apparently leaked this creepy CCTV video of an alleged ghost sighting at 3.30 a.m. The video shows a spectral pair of eyes floating in midair shortly after the alarm system goes off. I want to know whether or not this ghost sighting could actually be a cobweb up close. With that said, the reason this video is so creepy is because this school has an advanced infrared security system. I don't think a spider web would be enough to set it off, but maybe some security camera experts can chime in and let us know. This rare footage of a possible ghost ship made waves over the internet back in 2010. Everyone thought it was a paranormal sighting at sea, but it actually turned out to be a rare mirage caused by changes in air temperature. Apparently, when the water cools off, the air temperature just right, it sometimes can make ships look like they are floating. This is called the Fata Morganaz effect. I'd really appreciate it if someone in the comments section could leave a more detailed scientific explanation to help us better understand this strange phenomenon. Passengers are boarding this airplane in Thailand, but how is this possible when the entrance is disconnected from the airport? Are these people or spirits? You decide. As a counterpoint, someone pointed out that there could have been a second entrance here on the other side. The people could be traveling in an L-shaped tunnel, but since we can't confirm it from this angle, both explanations are plausible. It's almost 3 a.m., and Sean Tharp's girlfriend is heading out to work a late-night shift. Soon, she is calling her boyfriend, screaming about a man walking towards her. She claims the stranger was wearing no coat in absolutely freezing cold weather and came straight at her without a word. Sure enough, at approximately 33 seconds into this doorbell cam video, I can see a semi-transparent figure stomping towards her car at a high rate of speed. Then it turns around and abruptly disappears. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch this street lamp get covered briefly by the person's hollow outline as a reference point. Alright guys, I just got a call about an abandoned 
National Guard Armory. Movement was detected on a motion alarm system, and now a safety officer named Beam 32 gets some tries to convince himself that he's not scared as he approaches a building known to be very scary and haunted. Now, some people around here say that it's haunted and blah, 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 blah. I don't think it's haunted. You know, that's just stuff that scary people say. It's not haunted. He almost successfully calms himself down until he gets to the entrance and finds the door wide open. We're going in. Oh God, please don't let me die. Please make yourself known. Do not jump out. I thought I heard something. He knows he's in trouble when his flashlight begins flickering while he walks down a long, dark hall, a classic sign of the paranormal rapidly draining his equipment of the battery life. I'm dropping 306 to dispatch. What the f What's going on? Yo, what is. What's going on with my light? He steps into a well-lit hall and waits for backup when the paranormal strangeness ramps up and it's all caught on video. I need you to send me additional units. Where are my additional units? The lights in the hallway turn off and on, much like his flashlight was doing. He runs into an actual police car at the end, so I think there might have been real paranormal activity caught on camera at this haunted building. Did this news clip just capture a real life teleportation in action? Redditor Cat Daddy shared this clip that was captured on the news. Watch the background closely. <laughs> Did you see it? The dude just blipped in out of nowhere. It truly looks like a portal just opened in the air and he walked through it. Nothing is altered in the foreground or background to make me suspect that this clip was altered, but there are varied opinions in the comments. I agree with Joe Films. A morph transition can make it appear as though the speaker hasn't stopped talking, but elements in the background become distorted. In fact, Redditor Julian shares one of those elements. They didn't smooth out the reflections in the glass. Seen here. Although I think this mystery has been solved, I kind of wish it hadn't been. Some videos have the power to keep us up all night long. As we're drifting off to sleep, they enter into our subconscious, making us sit bolt upright. The fear is real. The fright. This was posted to Reddit with the uploader writing, my friend is security at the airport, and he saw this through the security cameras. The video shows an American Airlines desk with what appears to be a service door beside it. The airport looks empty. Perhaps the security footage was taken during closing hours. But if it's empty, what makes the door do this? The door swings open aggressively, with no one behind it. These types of doors are usually heavy and secure, and as Astral Cath explains in the comments, are often locked or require a manual code to open, so it's unclear how wind or something natural might have burst the door open like this. So what could it be? Theories in the comments range from a ghost running late for a flight to unequal air pressure. Redditor Steve Mage God points out that there's a slight shadow changed before the door flings open. So as usually happens, we've got those who think this is paranormal activity on one side and the skeptics who suggest this could be readily explained on the other. Which side are you on? A Reddit user named Miss Doolittle Tex posted some really creepy things caught on camera for the Chills Narrator subreddit to analyze. A man with shifty eyes and an odd expression walks to her front door and doesn't ring it, just stands there confused. He thinks about doing who knows what next and then decides against it. He leaves her door but not her property, going on to walk around the perimeter and crossing into a neighbor's backyard without permission. He returns a short while later, running away and full of energy. Only he knows what he did for sure or how bad it was. 
Miss Doolittle Tex calls the police to make a report, and based on this video evidence, I think she was absolutely in the right to do so. There's no reason for him to be creeping around like that and it's good to get everything documented early, in case things get even weirder in the future. Besides, I would want my neighbor to look out for me in the same way as I do for them. If you've lost a loved one, you might sometimes feel that their spirit is still with you, and if you're anything like TikTok or E to the R to the ICA, you might find video proof that this is actually true. Erica R1971 posted this ghostly video to the site writing, So my security picked this up tonight. My dad passed on November 26, and I wonder if it's him. The footage shows a ghostly figure pass by, floating casually past the security camera. The figure is white and vapor-like, appearing across the scene from right to left. If Erica is right, and this is in fact her father's spirit, what is he trying to tell her? Does he just want to comfort her by making his presence known? It does not look like CGI to me, so I think this video is 100% real. In Erica's place, would you feel comforted by a ghost? A YouTuber named Daniel finds a graveyard that is different than most others. It is in a bad state of disrepair, but beyond that, some of the graves are just plain missing. Doesn't look like it's six feet deep either. Is he coming out here? The graves could have simply been relocated, but if that were the case, then I think that the grave sites would have been filled back in. For some reason though, this graveyard has perfectly dug up graves with absolutely no evidence of a burial. There's no casket and no headstone. It's not like these plots were recently dug for a future burial either. Vegetation is slowly creeping back over them, and they are covered with a light bed of dry leaves. Whatever the explanation for the absence of these graves, one thing is for sure, clearly a lot of time has passed since they've been uncovered. A Miami woman was fast asleep on her couch when an unusually creepy looking woman decides to enter her home. Captured on the homeowner's canary home security system, this stranger was filmed the entire time she rummaged through this house. Even more odd is how this woman hovers over the homeowner on the couch, watching her sleep. I originally thought this video was fake because the stranger looks like the possessed girl in your typical scary movie, but the incident is 100% real and most likely wouldn't be believed without this footage. This individual was never caught or identified. Two YouTube ghost investigating groups team up for this video, but they find something even worse instead. Because you know for a fact that's going to catch everything down there. It already looked bad when they first found it, but the flames are twice as wide and twice as tall by the time the authorities arrive on scene. They have to be diligent as they lift the rubble up to check for signs of flames in the middle. If they miss a single burning patch, this whole situation could happen again tonight. When the first responders leave, the team checks out what it was. Someone who was putting this entire forest at risk so they could burn trash. When they thought burning it was safer than dumping it is beyond me. They were either extremely foolish, didn't care, or were trying to do it on purpose. Perhaps all three. There's no trickery to this one. Nothing paranormal. But we guarantee it will make some of you very scared. Posted to TikTok by Madison Bergia, the spider reunion on this ceiling is sure to send everyone out the door, leaving their shadow behind them. Madison captured this enormous mama spider and all her little spider babies just chilling outside, down right above her. Most commenters say they're moving to Mars, while LeRae Fanpage writes that his anxiety went through the roof watching this. We're with you, Larry. If you haven't panicked yet, now's the time. Just kidding. This quick clip, a group of kids are playing soccer when a strange and mysterious creature decides to crash their game. Watch closely as a black object approaches them from the right.
The poor quality of this video makes it hard to tell exactly what this creature is. It's very small and the way it shuffles side to side does not look natural at all. It's very difficult, if not impossible, to make out a face or even any limbs. It could be a wild animal, but the way that the children and even the dog all run away in absolute horror has many people convinced that this creature could be paranormal or even extraterrestrial. Even when you slow down the video and zoom in on the creature, it's hard to tell what it could be. I personally have no idea what it is, and I definitely like to read your best guess in the comments below. Reddit, the origin of all things internet creepy. Redditor Kiaha alleges that the link to this video was emailed to her, recently writing, I have no idea where this tape came from, but it truly does scare me. The video is titled simply One Sept and was uploaded to YouTube by Igor ASD. It shows what appears to be an abandoned building, being explored in the dark with a flashlight. After a bit of meandering, the shot comes across a sign that says in Russian, museum work, along with a schedule, likely listing the museum's opening hours. Around two and a half minutes into the video is where the true creepiness happens. A shadowy figure appears in the shot of a doorway across a dark room. It walks through the doorway and the camera's light goes dark. The screen goes blue. After this, a series of images of a building appear, footage through a peephole, and the film's final image, a still figure in front of a glowing monitor. What is this piece? Could it be found footage? What do you think it is? I think it's certainly scary. It's 10 at night when a sphere of light travels across the living room of a YouTuber named Play With Me. Moments later, this spectral figure emerges from the same area where the light last went off to. Its see-through body is especially visible against the dark hardwood floor. As it crosses the room and walks straight through the door without opening it, there's no doubt that this is the sphere of a person. But is this editing or a real ghost is the real question. The next time you shower, don't look up. Published by Tia Bassi in March of 2022, this creepy video shows what could be the hair in your drain come to life. The clip shows a shower curtain pulled to the side, while up in the corner near the ceiling is this extraterrestrial-like critter. It looks spidery, but with even more legs than usual. It somehow also looks like a great pile of tangled hair. What do you think this is? I think it's time to throw the whole house away. This footage comes from the Lincoln County Courthouse in Charlotte, North Carolina. Deputies are watching the security monitors after hours when they spot a woman standing alone in an empty room. They rush into the nearby location to see what she is up to and if she needs help. Not only is the woman still there, but she is totally transparent and they are able to walk straight through her. When the local news channel comes to investigate, they see the same ghost again, this time in the cashier's office. Plane. While shooting today, we saw it again in color in the middle of the screen just over Barbara Jones' shoulder. Both times, the ghostly woman appears to be jotting something down in a notepad. Some people are suggesting that she could just be a reflection, but the news team could find nothing capable of replicating the highly detailed shape of a woman. If this really is a spirit, then who knows why she is here, or what supernatural secrets her notepad holds. A YouTuber named Sunny Cooper has recorded a shadow moving back and forth that looks out of place. Maybe together we can figure out what this strange shadow belongs to. It starts out going one direction, then it comes back the other way, It almost looks like a rat or a small animal of some sort, but that still doesn't explain how it appears to instantly teleport across a large gap twice. I guess this could just be some sort of time-lapse editing, but something about the way the shadow moves looks like it was recorded in real time. Let me know if you have any explanation for what's happening here. Jade of YouTube channel Ghost Club Paranormal spends a night alone in the most haunted room of the Glen Tavern Inn. Cue all the spooky stuff as Jade is describing the spirits here, the lights flicker off. He's the one that's not supposed to be very nice. <laughs> I 
I don't know why the light just went out. She captures some energies via the K2 meter. She starts to hear noises. When I get spikes on the K2 meter. Now I'm hearing noises just all around the room. And one even seems to happen in response to her request. Knock. The spirit appears to turn the flashlight on. Alright guys, same thing. I have turned this flashlight off and if any spirits want to turn it on by the time I get back, you can be my guest. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Again, it was like... Then a cowboy responds to Jade's questions. Are there any cowboys with me in this room right now? Can you make a knocking noise? If there's any cow... And when she continues her communication with the spirit, it says hello. This is so weird. Like, I feel like somebody keeps pulling on my tassel. I've seen enough here to be certain that Glen Tavern Inn is haunted, and I think Jade has a finger on the pulse of the spirit. If you happen upon a site where a sacrificial ritual was performed, run far, far away. YouTube channel, Se Investiga Casadores de Lendas, was exploring this abandoned place when they came across just such a sight. They enter a room with lifeless animals and a pentagram on the wall. On the ground is a ponytail of hair and candles. There is a burnt animal skull on the wall. Foi da última vez também que ele apareceu de ponta cabeça aqui na parede. E as they're in this creepy room, they hear a noise. Soon their flashlights start to go haywire, and when the light turns back on, a demon has taken hold of one of them. Later, they return to the room and see this. Well, it's not clear to me what this demon clown is or what the creature in black wanted from them. One thing is clear, they shouldn't be here. A YouTuber named King Fresh is hanging out with his crew at a wild and crazy underground car rally. Burnouts and donuts fill the parking lot for a long time until it gets late and most of the drivers go home. Those who remain have more space to do even crazier maneuvers than ever before. Still, none of them could have been prepared for what this sports car does next. Oh, we got a Mustang right here in the wild. What do you guys think? You like it or no? Oh! 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 A Mustang trudges straight towards a small group for no real reason other than to show off. I think they might lose control though because at 8 minutes and 5 seconds you can see it was about to plow straight into King Fresh. The headlights are pointed straight at him and he barely steps out of the way. Ghost Tales published this video in 2013. The description reads, Dog senses a ghost in the room. Captured on film is the ghost actually throwing the ball. The clip begins with a doll just staring into the living room, then all of a sudden she starts barking. She retreats into the kitchen, where her owner stands filming the strange event. The dog heads slowly back into the living room, sniffing around. She creeps back in, lifting a leg tentatively as she peers out into the living room. There appears to be something draped on the table and the dog starts barking towards it. The dog then picks up a ball it found on the floor and then gets distracted by something else she found on the floor. Then she hears a noise that makes her spring and stare at the thing on the table again. She sniffs around it and is distracted again by the ball. Although the dog in this video does seem to be spooked by something, it doesn't appear as if the ball was thrown at it. 
as the author claims. But if you see it in this clip, let us know in the comments. Bell Tower Bat lives in a haunted hotel that's built upon a series of tunnels that are haunted as well. So she decides to go ghost hunting with the TikTok app and see what reality Ripple shows her. The first thing she notices are a couple antique bottles that seem to have a ghost attached to them. It's an all black aura that is far different from the psychedelic colors that are usually displayed. Now it's time to leave her room and see what else her ghost hunting app has to show her. She doesn't see anything for the rest of the video until she gets to the very last haunted hallway. <laughs> A ghostly shadow figure looks at her down the hall and sends her the other way. The reality ripple is still on, so if this was a living person, it should be an orange or purple color. Instead, the shadow person is devoid of color, so either this video was edited, or else it's a real ghost sighting on TikTok. Here's another ninja cat caught on tape trying to capture a ghost. Daryl Zan published this video in 2012 with the description, Just a little video of my buddy taping his possessed cat. Also has a ghost orb flash by. The cat starts up in the corner of the door frame, next to the ceiling. She is looking all over, looking towards the ceiling, and balanced between two door frames. Just as one of the cat owners says, what's she going to do? A blue streak, the orb in question, flies across the camera lens from the upper right of the screen to the lower left. The man who's filming notices it and says it was weird. Well, that was weird. But his partner didn't see it. Did the couple's cat sense the ghost in the room? Is that why he'd ninja his way to the top of the door frames? It's more than possible. However, some skeptics in the comments section say that the cat is acting perfectly normal and that the orb looks like a paper airplane. What do you think? A YouTuber named Julie G797 was watching live BBC news coverage of a worker's strike in Hong Kong when he catches what seems to be undeniable evidence of a UFO. There you go. Look at that. Descending on the top of that building. The mysterious green light hangs around the top of a building for only moments before shooting straight up into the sky. This footage was taken directly from the television screen and seems very hard, if not impossible, to fake. Right now, people are mostly debating if the light is too big to be a quadcopter drone. I guess it could be a drone, but if not, I think this very well may be a legitimate alien UFO sighting. The historic Jefferson Hotel is a known hotspot for paranormal activity. They have an entire YouTube channel to document the stuff. Here is yet another instance captured on camera. It sounds more like a murmur to me, but this next one is a definite whistle. And lastly, a totally creepy laugh is heard. I don't know what that was. The whistle is captured faintly again. Right there. Is this someone pulling a prank? I heard all of the sounds, including the whistles, but that doesn't mean they aren't human. But I would probably conclude it was a spirit too if I worked in a place as haunted as the historic Jefferson. Glide viewers have been known to stumble upon unsettling things on Google Earth, and this is one example that does not disappoint. Shared by YouTuber Andrea B, this scary video is trending in the Hindi speaking YouTube community. The original source is the TikTok account. Hidden on Google Earth. It's quite obvious what is scary in this Google Earth capture. What I'd like to know are the coordinates. I'm also curious what this building is beside the creepy crawling figure. Take another look. Okay, okay, okay. 
My theory is that the figure is staged outside a theme park haunted house. There are even guardrails around the place, perhaps to guide people to queue up. What do you think? Real or fake, I wouldn't want to stumble across this on Google Earth. Either way, my phone is getting thrown across the room. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.